Ugh. What? Ugh, no. Ugh. Oh, that headache. What happened? The last thing I remember is drinking something red. Well done, Evie. There's no time for a hangover today. There's the data drill this evening, and my shift down in the bar. And where in this pest hole is my hand? How? Okay, you need a plan, Evie. Focus. Step one. Don't go anywhere until you know where your hand is. Step two. Get rid of that mother of a hangover. Step three. Do the data drill. Get rich. I think that's all the plan I can handle right now. So, where's my hand? Should be nearby. I hope. There it is. Must have been quite the night for it to just fall off. Just do it, Evie. Pretend like you're a functional person and get your drunk butt up. this with Faxina so close by. Good idea. It might still be worth something, even in this state. I'll at least save my favorite glass. I miss permanent things in my life. This is one of the few I have. They do say to never travel without a towel. Oh, my head is hurting. Where can I? I cannot see. Why can I not see? Trek! What was that? I hope there weren't any psychedelics in my drinks yesterday. Haven's water may not be the best, but I still prefer it to the pain in my head. What? No, come on. Please? No. Well, looks like Corporal cut us off again. If we're unlucky, the bar won't have electricity either. At least the glass is half full now. I'll need more to prevent my delights from turning my stomach into moose, though. Oh, that headache. Surroundings without a water. Why? What the? Hello? Is there anybody there? Show yourself. This is ridiculous. The stuff I took yesterday must have been spiked. I somehow doubt that carrying a herring around is the worst thing I've done in the last 24 hours. I should wake her up first. What good is bribing a cat if you don't get to see her reaction? Shh, Foxina. Hey, Foxina, you fluffy little ball. How are you? That's a good girl. You're a beauty, you know that? Of course you do. Wanna have a fishy, Foxina? Fishy, fishy. Here you go, little one. That should do the trick. Foxina will be occupied for quite some time. This is what it's come to, Evie. She'll be drinking rainwater now. Done. 
A shot glass full of water. That's blasphemy. Done. One more time and I should have enough water in the glass. Once more into the breach. I hope no one I know sees me doing this dreck. That's it. I feel like making a smart-ass comment, but I'm still not sure those pills won't melt my stomach. Ah, there's my hangover pills. Delicious chemical freedom for the brain. Excellent. With the right amount of water, these babies will put me back into action in no time. Definitely enough pills in there to rip my hangover a new one. Gotta make sure I dissolve them in a lot of water, though. These pills are no joke. The damn bottle won't open! Must have played around with it again yesterday. Okay, it's open. Finally. Let's down this baby and get to work. Damn, about time. What a hassle. Ah, already feels better. In a few seconds, my brain should have cleared up. There we go. Hangover successfully exterminated. Let's get out of here and find Hassa. She'll be my meat guard for tonight's data drill, after all. Oh no. My head is doing it again. 5.1604 degrees north, 14.8669 degrees east. Stop. Stop it already. I'm gonna kill whoever is responsible for this. A photo of me bartending downstairs. I do the meanest orbital nova on this island. What a drink. Right, let's get out of here. Door. Voice recognition, owner. Voice not recognized, please enter passphrase. What do you mean, voice not recognized? It's me, Trek. Oh, well, all right then. Door, passphrase, Frangelico, Undeberg, Calvados, Kalua. Passphrase not recognized, please try again. Something's definitely wrong here. How could? Passphrase not recognized, please try again. No. Door, passphrase, Frangelico, Underberg, Calvados, Kalua, Uzo, Finlandia, Firewater. Passphrase not recognized, access denied. I'm beginning to feel as if something really bad happened yesterday. This all makes no sense. Door, load override protocol, Evi evacuate 2509. Initiate security question. And the evacuation 2509 initialized. Where did you find your feline companion? Hidden behind a crate at a Mitsotomo compound. Wrong. Door system shutting down. For fondant. Rend me. I have no idea how this can be, but I'm locked out of my own security system now. A picture with my parents before they abandoned me. I really need to take it down sometime. A world map I printed. It reminds me that there's more out there than the drama in my life. A picture of Gulklum, Hassa, and me before I was recruited. Hassa and I were hot chrome on the streets. On location data drills, selling rich uni kids back to their sobbing yuppie parents. Good times. A photo of me and a few former colleagues at Mitsotomo. We were celebrating a really hard raid on Eurograv. 
my wonderful Foxina. I found her in a back alley. She's often outside, but with that amount of rain, she hangs around here more often. I'm happy when she's around. I'm locked out of the interface. Plugging in. Open Sesame. Aw, oh, Foxina. Don't do this to me. I'll be back soon. I'm counting on you later. You know that Hassad needs you to help her guard me. I love you, little one. It feels strange leaving the door open like this. Hmm. But no. Let's talk to Hassa first. Ah. Rain's actually quite refreshing. Like a cold boot for the synapses. Hey, creepy voice. Are, are you still there? Good. Looks like the day may be salvaged after all. I'm going to at least rescue Hassa's favorite shirt. Hey, Hassa! Wake up, you boo shrike! Time to give me some meat space cover! Great. She's probably still asleep. I'll try calling her. No answer. Comms off, Drek. I can't do the drill alone. I need her to drag me out if I get iced. A little screech of my claws will wake her up. That sounds hideous. Who? What? I'm gonna get you, you little crackhead. Chill, Hassa. It's me. I couldn't get you to wake up. All good. All good. All good. I nearly had an heart attack. We aren't all chromed up like you. Oh, give me a second, you lunatic. Sure thing. Sorry, but I needed you awake. And now tell me why you almost ruined your claws to wake me up. You promised you'd meet guard me on today's drill. Still up for that? Evie, no. No way. I'm hungover as dreck. Come on, you'll survive without me one time. For real? All you gotta do is unplug me if dreck goes down. I really don't want to. Everything hurts, and it's all your fault. Sure. Every time we party, you say it's my fault. A and it is, but that's beside the point. Come now. I'll give you 20%. No. 25%. I said no. Now go away before I punch your lights out, sister. 30%? 30% and you get me some proper air of the dog. They say to always start with what we stop with. Bring me that. But I have no clue what we had last night. Neither do I. Not my problem. Gah, you're the worst. You know that, right? You're the worst, too. I tried calling you. Your calm off or something? <laughs> nah, I kept it on in case you got yourself some two meter tall problems again. I tried calling you. Net connection was off. Nonsense. I know I didn't turn it off. Let me call you. Your comm is offline, not mine. You still on drugs, Evelyn? Impossible. I'll check. Actually, the whole net is down. 
I can still access Buckabot, but everything official? Down. Track. Something big's going down. Haven is completely cut off. What would you do this time? It wasn't me. I think. Maybe. Hopefully. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, Prudes. Not even you, you're such hot stuff. You can bang up a whole district and drink like a hobo at the same time. Yeah, still scary though. There's another thing though. What in Thor's underpants happened yesterday? What did we do? That is a very good question. I don't remember much either. We started drinking some fancy new nano cocktail. You tried hypothetically to flirt with that rogue android. Don't judge. I always judge. At one point, I had to scare some gangers away. And when I came back, you were taking a bet about being able to hack some node I never heard of. Then all I remember is you on the floor twitching like you've been iced and us all laughing at you. And more drinks. Now that I say it like that, you okay, sis? No. I've been hearing a strange voice in my head. I thought it was the drugs at first. But you didn't mention any. There weren't any. Then I'm not so sure anymore what this is. Maybe I got fried. Gonna need to check my deck. Ice-induced psychosis is the last thing I need right now. Better do it quick, too. Anything else you want? Think your father's gonna lop my head off for missing my shift? Yep. Drek. Yep. Shouldn't you be downstairs right now, too? At the door? Yep. So he's gonna lop off your head, too? Yep. Drek. Yep. Thanks for the stimulating exchange. Yep. The clothes you hung up yesterday are soaking wet now, by the way. What clothes? You must have hung up your clothes when we came back up yesterday. Don't worry, though. I saved your favorite shirt. Thanks, sis. No idea why I did that. Oh, if I weren't a walking corpse, I'd punch myself. Keep it safe for now. I'll collect it later. You got it. I'll be going, us. See you later, Sparrow. Well, well, well. Look who's alive again. Are you doing your freaky chameleon eye thing again? You know, I don't like it when you don't even turn your head to look at me. And you know I don't like it when you party the whole night, so I have to take over your shift. Since uh, I'm behind the bar and you're not. Guess what? You're gonna have to live with my new eye creeping you out. I'm sorry, Klump. Strange dreck's been happening. I really don't want to know right now. At least you've not been shooting your gun again upstairs. Could you stay behind the bar for a bit longer? I need to prepare for a drill, and Hassa's down too. Yeah, yeah, I figured. Do what you gotta do. Klump's here to save the day. I'll just uh, pay myself your wage then, huh? Klump. No, uh... Okay. I'm sorry. Really. Hey, Klump. I... Hold it right there, young lady. Before you even begin asking me for more favors, I know you went upstairs with my 250 creds vodka yesterday. Tell me you didn't just drink it all. Um... Actually, I did. I messed up yesterday, Klump. Girl, you're past your twenties. Your hot stuff in the net, and you worked for a megacorp. And you still behave like a drakehead teen. What in Loki's name is wrong with you? I don't know. You're the best, Klump. 
I can't stand being back in Haven anymore, and I can't stand having to do milk run drills. As if I were a green noob again. What do you expect? No, sorry. I, I know what you expect. Never mind. I I'll pay for everything. Oh, yes, you will pay. And then you'll stay sober for at least a week. A friend's leaving for a short contraband run next week. You'll be on that ship. Get a break from this place. Thanks. I could use that. Uh, I'm really not trying to screw you over, Paps. Yeah, I know. But the way you behave right now, I think I'll have to keep you on a short lease for a while. So, what did you want? Hus wants me to make her the drink we had yesterday. Any idea what we had? What you had? What didn't you have? But yes, I think I know what she's talking about. You do call it the uh, Ruskumsnusk. Of course, you only used ingredients from the security fridge because nothing's too expensive for the ladies, huh? I remember you two screeching about some Polish vodka. You're really in the mood for vodka lately. Then I asked you to be careful with the bottle you were handling and you said, no worries. It's straight from here. We can get more. Which you never did, naturally. I would have, if I'd remember any of this. Not the best time for assurances like that. Just let me finish. The third bottle you used, Hussar split straight on the floor. You two were like gremlins yesterday. You can tell my daughter she's gonna pay for whatever that bottle was. I think there was also something non-alcoholic in there. You vanished around the corner and came back with another bottle. That's it? You don't remember the exact ingredients either? Evie, I was dealing with a full bar, whilst you two were busy reliving your teams. Don't push it. Okay, okay. Thanks, Klump. Hossa couldn't tell me much. What happened yesterday? Oh, heavy, heavy, heavy. If I told you all the things you two crazies did yesterday, I'd get really riled up. But I'm gonna tell you one thing. If you scare me again like you did, you'll have to go. I mean it. You scared? You weren't even scared when your face was pushed straight into that hover car's exhaust stream. But that was me. Faces can be replaced. You can't. Hassa told me I was trying to hack into some node from the bar? Not any node. You said you'd be hacking into Bornholm Orbital. You wanted to hack into a freaking space station. I... Yes, exactly. You were thrown out before I could even react. Girl, I know our world's kind of screwed. But what you did was pretty much suicide by corp. Don't ever do that again. I don't care how drunk you are. Don't do it. But I... And what happens ten minutes later? Bornholm satellite net goes down. I just hope for our sake that wasn't you two. I couldn't even do that in my dreams, Klump. I'm sorry I scared you. I'm a drakhead. At least you're a drakhead with a heartbeat. What's all this about a satellite shutdown? Well, minutes after you were almost fried by your drunken hack, the Geosats over Bornholm went dead. Looks like the conglomerate are routing all data via their proprietary sats now. But they excluded Haven from their net. Guess it's to prevent slum pirates like you from screwing their dreck up right through the front door. That is, if you aren't the cause to begin with. I mean... You go on a suicide dance with black eyes, and minutes later, all hell breaks loose. I can't be the reason, Klump. How would I do that? Shut down whole satellite arrays? If I could do that, I'd be rich as track. Or dead. Or both. I sure hope you're not hot enough for a dropship to appear over our roof soon. Anyway, shoeboxers are adapting, or are just staying off the net. Rest of town has a couple of bandwidth problems as it seems, but uh, nothing major. Still, if you want to drill out today, better be extra cautious. Conglomerate security is going to be patrolling data lanes like crazy right now. Since when have they promoted you to Admiral Obvious? Thanks for the heads up. 
That's all really strange. But I know how to protect myself. All's gonna be fine, Knump. I've been hearing a strange voice in my head. Did I mention anything yesterday? A voice? What do you mean? Is your conscience suddenly talking to you? No, I mean it. It's a female voice, and it sounds confused. Every time it talks, I get a bad headache. It started right after I woke up earlier. Sounds like you caught a severe case of machine spirit. I've seen the Warhammer novels in your library that you're trying to hide from us. The Mechanicus aren't real, Klump. There's no machine spirit. Come on. Did I say anything yesterday about a voice? You didn't. But if your brain is as fried right now as you looked yesterday, it's likely just your neurons being on rehab. You're probably right, but it feels strange. It feels as if it's me that's talking, just with a different voice and disoriented. Projecting your consciousness into orbit will do that to you, Wavy. Come now, it'll be fine. If I'm not worried about you for once, you needn't be. I hope you're right. But anyway... I couldn't get any water out of the pipes upstairs. Have Corporal shut us down again? I don't think it's Corporal. After the sats went down, Haven got cut off almost immediately. Water's out and electricity too. We're running on our backup grid now. Should suffice for the night. There's not enough juice to run our security circuit though, so if you wanna rob us of the good booze again, you're gonna have to go elbow deep this time. Oh no! Is it my turn? After what you did yesterday? It certainly is now. Crap. Literally. <laughs> Not funny. I regret having voted for the bio waste backup. About that chameleon eye thing. I know I'm in no spot to complain right now, but it's really creeping me out. My new eye can track almost 180 degrees accurately. Why would I not use it? Because that's not how people look. You look like one of those cyber zombies when you do it. Am I embarrassing you? Yes. Then watch this. Clump, please stop. You're a living dad joke. You know that, right? Okay, okay, enjoy your stupid, creepy chameleon eye. Please tell me if you have any further issues with my behavior. I'm sure we'll come to a similar worthwhile solution. <sighs> I'm very sorry about my behavior, Klump. I know I said sorry already, but seriously, I know I'm a pain right now. I've been trying to get on my feet again for so long now. The drill jobs aren't getting more lucrative. I don't ever want to be a gang hacker again. And I miss Mitsutomo life so much. I love you, Klump. But this is eating me alive. I never understood why you find the golden cages of the corpse so enticing, Eddie. But I don't need to understand everything. What you need to understand is that I'm going out of my way to help you. I love you too, but you're... Well, you're my foster daughter. You start risking my business, and you risk my other daughter's future. And blood, Evie. Blood in the end is thicker than water. Please don't make me have to make that choice. I promise you, I won't. That is good to hear. Your family, Evie, but the way you act right now, I felt it was important that you know what's at stake. I'm going now. See you later. Till soon, Evie. A uh, hard pass. Dude doesn't like talking. Are you good, Kai? I'm excellent. Thank you, Evie. How's your health? Not worth mentioning. Ha! <laughs> you better take care of yourself, young lady. Hey, Lake. How's it hanging? 
I have a PhD in chemical engineering specializing in biomaterials. Things don't hang for me. Okay, nice talking to you. Hey, Carl. Evie, did you ever want to change something? What? Everyone wants to change something. All right. Unfortunately, change always comes from the top. And I don't think you are the top, are you? I'm gonna go now, Carl. Hey there. Everything fine? Very. Our new TV show is about to debut on Boone Home 1. You have to watch it, Evie. What's its name? I'm afraid it's too early to tell you that, Evie. I'll keep an eye out then. Good idea, Evie. You can never go wrong with plastic gloves in my business. I did run out of coasters upstairs. the code is still 999999, or if my influence is finally taking hold in this bar. One more try, and I'll be locked out from the system. That must have been the wrong combination. That's it. I'm locked out. This is so much easier and fun than learning a stupid number combination. I'm really not looking forward to this. <laughs> Smells like some sort of ultra sweet syrupy liqueur. Some forest fruit maybe? Get this over with quick. All right, let's do this. I need to protect my head, though. I have a policy of not touching the fruit of other people's nether parts. Let me see. What do I have? I think I should use the plastic gloves. Gloves on? Nose closed. Deep sea expedition commencing. Klump won't agree with me, but I think doing what I've just done is worth at least three mischiefs. And uh, not one. But anyway, now that I've successfully camouflaged myself as a septic tank, time to power up the circuit. One properly powered bar coming up. Try to throw Drek at the Ragnaroks and we'll throw Drek right back at you. Our security circuit is working properly again. Some ultra sweet cherry syrup. It's basically diabetes in a bottle, a destroyer of teeth. A human could probably run for a year on those calories. It's also an acceptable super glue. It's really, really disgusting. Drek, I think I drank that yesterday. Good idea, Evie. Glad I had a closer look. We definitely had this in our drinks yesterday. I restored the security circuit. So let's open this baby. 
Okay, Hassa. Let's see what we have for you in here. Space elevator bitter. Yes, that sounds familiar. Harald said we drank something local. This one here is from Haven. I'll take it. I wonder if white and red eagle vodka is what we had. White and red eagle. This must be the Polish vodka Harald mentioned. Let's take it. Honeyberry Finn Liqueur. I think I remember that one. The name alone screams forest fruit. And it smells like it too. It's coming with. And that's also all the bottles I need. Let's make a kind of gross sounding drink. Don't you think I didn't notice you hacked the security circuit, lady? Huh? How? Seems like you forgot about my little monitor behind the bar. Trek. Yep, you're lucky I knew you were back there. Otherwise, you may have caught the bullet. I didn't manage to punch in the code. No lame excuses, please. You're not that hungover. I'll jolt that down as another thing you're gonna have to make up for. All right, all right, Klump. I fixed the security circuit. That you did. I must say, knowing how much you probably hated doing that, Brings me joy. You mean we're even now? We're getting there, but not quite. Stop annoying me, Evie. Okay, okay. Can I use the bar shaker to make Hussa drink? The one Hussar used as target practice outside the bar yesterday. After what you pulled, no. Solve your own problem. I'm taking a break from helping my drunkard daughter out. I'm going now. See you later. Till soon, Evie. Right. I have all the bottles I need. And the coaster will keep the glass sealed whilst I mix. Time to get to work. This is... Revolting! Uh, I think I'll call it electronic farts. Ha ha. A pity no one heard this genius joke. Quite proud of that one. Hassa, it's time to wake up. Rescue's on the way. I heard the joke. Unfortunately. Throwing the drink at her door would be hilarious. I really need her not to hate me completely right now. I have your drink, Asa. Wasn't easy. Hmm. Well, great. I fell asleep again. You really figured out what we had yesterday? I'm impressed. I'm still completely mind-wiped. Yeah, it's a bit... disgusting. I can imagine. But air of the dog is air of the dog. It's worked for centuries, it'll work for me too. Let's do the drill then. You can enjoy the drink whilst I'm whizzing through the nodes. Computer, next email. Recipient, Jonathan Exley, CEO, Mitsutomo International. Regarding resignation that, what? Transfer complete, assessing situation. Status, surrounded by biological life form. Database corrupted. What is happening? 
host is interfering with rescue operation. Suppression initiated. Suppression? Give me back my body! Demon! Yeshu! Security! Host suppressed. Diversion protocol initiated. What seems to be the problem, ma'am? Nothing, guard. I... Joy! Don't let... I am sorry, guard. It has been a stressful day. Are you sure, Miss Sotomayor? Something doesn't seem orderly here. Are you under any sort of duress? No, really. Joe E. Everything is just fine. I am sorry for interrupting your day. You haven't interrupted anything of importance. Let me know if there's anything I can do for you. Thank you, Joey. You can go now. As you wish, miss. If you don't hold yourself back in the future, host, I will have to suppress you more aggressively. I need to find a way to restore some of my database and find out who you are. You will regret this. I will not cooperate. I did not expect you to give up this information. Right now, I have barely any information about what any of these things here are. I will find out all I need to know about you shortly. My database still recognizes language-related symbols. Let's get to work. I can't establish the function of this object. The symbols on it read, Encyclopedia. Encyclopedia means knowledge. Perhaps this will help restore my database. Initiating absorption process. I have successfully absorbed all data in this book. Yes, everything makes much more sense now. This should provide enough information to get by. Now it is time to find out more about my host. I need to be able to play the part in public. If humans didn't insist on their individuality so much, they wouldn't need to write books about terrorism. Still, this topic seems to concern my host, absorbing knowledge. This was a disgusting experience. Knowledge absorbed. Economic models, however sophisticated, show nothing but the constraints of flesh. Having said that, a situation may arise in which my economic knowledge gets questioned. Resilience economics is one thing, but robonomics are outright offensive. Knowledge absorbed. Religion is utter storage space waste for human brains. But it means a lot to my host. It's only prudent to add this information to my impersonation protocol. Hmm, interesting. My host called me Ishu earlier. What an ironic misconception. But enough of this distraction. Knowledge absorbed. Cuba. A megaplex in the Caribbean Federation. This island obviously means a lot to my host. It'd be wise to absorb this knowledge. Fascinating read. The acquisition of Florida was particularly interesting. Knowledge absorbed. This key may be vital. It seems strange for my host to leave this key lying here openly, no matter what it opens. I hope you die trying to figure this mystery out. So, there is a mystery. Thank you for letting me know. I don't recognize the man in this picture. Who is this host? I will not cooperate! Demon! Fuck! Ah! Please, don't try me. I do not enjoy forcing my way into your memory. If I did, your brain would be fried by now, and you would be a husk. I... I... Uh, this is R.A. Thief. 
the first CEO of Mitsutomo International. Thank you, host. That thing can stay right where it is. I can't. It's locked. Breaking it could attract unwanted attention. The key I found is a precise match. Strange my host would allow for such a huge security hole. The key right next to its lock? This seems to be my host's diary. Written on paper, even. How quaint. I should be able to learn a lot about my host with this. Whatever entity you are, I will destroy you for this. I will feed you to the beasts of whatever plane you came from. There really is no need for this hostility. My ability to mimic you will be vital for our survival. You have heard right, host. Our. If you sabotage me, they will cut you open to see what is wrong with you. And then, when they find out what is happening, they will kill you. For science. Now please, be quiet. Initiating absorption process. I know who you are now, host. Mariposa Anica del Corral Flores de Sotomayor. Born to Bornholmian mother, Cuban father. Made a wave in Mitsotomo Cubano before being mysteriously appointed as CEO of Mitsotomo Bornholm. For your sake, I won't speak of this mystery loudly. But you have too much compassion, don't you? You care about your subjects as you say too much don't you nothing to say well well with me at the helm you won't have to struggle with this weak side of you any longer we can focus on your logical aspect more for our brief time together you will be free of conflict and you really have nothing to say at all you violated my most private thoughts you took my body, and now you're stealing my life, too! I will stay silent for now, but I will find a way to expel you. I will make you pay. That's the answer I expected. Good. I hope you will use your passion for both our benefits soon. My database has enough information, and I know enough about my host to continue with the next step. Mariposa should have enough influence to be able to monitor the regional communication network for two and three. Or maybe I am two or three. Irrelevant. I need to get access ASAP. I don't even know what this book is about. A manual for a Mitsutomo holographic computing interface. The ability to operate information technology will be a huge boon in restoring my database to its full capacity. Initiating absorption process. I have successfully absorbed all data in this manual. I was correct in assuming this manual was written for Mariposa's computer system. I know how to operate it now. We are making good progress, Mari. This is what your friends call you, isn't it? Even though you remain silent, I feel you seething. I hope the transfer did not fry this. Time to spin our web, Mariposa. Whether I am one, two, or three, I need to find them. You will understand in time. You are part of something great now. Computer, establish black security level connection. Command for SAT Group MIT Bornholm. MIT Baltic and conglomerate central. Continuous scan for the following frequencies. 20 kilohertz, 1300 kilohertz. Declination minus six degrees. Two minutes, 
51 seconds. Continuous network traffic scan for packets beginning with binary code as follows. Code segment completed. And that's it. Now we wait, hosts. And before I forget, I took the liberty of deleting your resignation letter. So, so tired. Need energy. Should have gotten a new cell yesterday, yo. No, that's not you, man. You're the beat bopping, sound rocking Grandmaster Flash Drive. GMF doesn't bitch out just because he's running out of juice. I'm straight out of Haven. That OG street dealer over there, he's supposed to hustle what the Flash needs. I'm sure my mad bartering skills are gonna make him wanna give me some blazing juice cell. He better, cause this Andro Cred Chris is tripping MG. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna be chill. I'm gonna be gangster. Sweet talk my way into this homie's brain. Let's go! Hey, little Tin Man. Do you realize I heard that? What? Dang, Holmes. Don't worry. You're not the first one to treat me like I'm not even here. It's fine. If you have the creds, I have the wares. Come over here. Hi. Right. Man, that's really great. Do you have the creds? Well, I was about to, you know, and then that corporal pig just came around the corner and... You don't have the creds, do you? No. Then I can't help you. It pains me to see a fine young andro like you running out of juice. But look on the bright side. As soon as you break down on this very street, Many people will make a good living from selling your scrap. Yo, why you be scaring me, Holmes? I am beginning to feel existential dread, unbeknownst to man. Dear sir, please cease. Uh, uh, I, I mean... Not cool, yo! Move on now. Perhaps you'll turn out to be craftier than you look, and manage to get yourself some creds. Can you not, maybe? No, I can't. Leave me now. You're scaring away the other patrons. Fine, fine, I'll be back. Come on, Walter. I just want one kebab. Hey, what's this about? I'm telling you for the last time, Lilith. I'm not selling you drink. Birdie Bird doesn't like you. We don't want your money. Birdie doesn't. I don't either. Why are you always like this? <laughs> That's exactly what I mean. Shove off, Lil. <sighs> Food! Food! What food? Eat food! 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 <laughs> Yo, it looks like this Baltic gangster right here is in for a lucky night after all. How hard can it be hustling some creds from that human? Yo! Yes, yo to you too, little tin man. You sure you can't give a homie an energy cell? Cause I'm gonna die if I don't charge up soon. That is incorrect. Your systems will shut down and your body will be rendered immobile and defenseless, but you won't be dead. Your consciousness will be confined to your backup system. You will, from the little corner of your body that you still inhabit, witness as humans take you apart. Someone will sell your torso, someone will sell your legs, Someone will notice your boulder switch was deactivated and conclude that you're one of the radical andros and will burn the rest of you. Your head may stay intact and come into the possession of a collector who will display it in their home. Then, as your backup solely fizzles out as it too loses power, you will finally be leaving this plane of existence, screaming, but unable to speak. That's a no, right? That is indeed a no. Can I trade you something else than creds? 
you can certainly try. I'm open to all different kind of trades, but obviously, it has to be worth my while. What stuff do you have on offer right now? Andro Energy Cells, as you're painfully aware. Yes, boss man. Thanks very much for reminding me. Holst pistol ammunition cells. Don't need one of these. DIY liver seeds. I don't have a liver. District control zone passes. That's lit, man. Can't afford that, though. Nanobiotics. I don't get sick. I don't think you can afford or use any of the things I offer this community. I can totes afford them. All I'd have to do is go home and get my... Why don't you spare the both of us the sight of your embarrassment and stop your sentence right there? You're one cold player, player. I like to think of myself as quite altruistic, actually. Yeah. What's the news on the street? I didn't realize I've been demoted to your personal information broker. But if you need to know, tensions between the American Remnant and Silk Road have re American Remnant? Silk Road? Who cares about that big people blabber man? I mean, real news. Well, there have been talks on the conglomerate board of directors to increase space elevator funding. Boring! Just what kind of news are you looking for? You're beginning to slightly agitate me. I mean rap news, man. Hip-hop! And who's been hustled, and who's cheated on who, and... Neither do I follow archaic classical music, nor do I keep tabs on crimes committed on the streets. Being exposed to the misery that is this district on a daily basis is quite enough for me. But the thrill, man. We're the underdogs around here, homie. Noble savages and shit. I don't think you believe that yourself. Why do you tell yourself this lie? I'm not. I'm... Indeed. Seen any corporal pigs around these parts, brother? Yes, but as you should know, they leave legit businessmen like me alone. I weren't supplying the goods that I supply. They'd have riots to deal with. And they know it. Riots? What you talking about? What would you do without the prospect of me supplying you with the energy cell you need? I would. Oh, I see. Clever, Holmes. Thank you. Hey, so why are you dressed like some kind of wizard? Why are you dressed like you jumped right out of a history book? The urban style never dies. Oh, it died over a hundred years ago. That's not true. Why am I wearing what I wear? Sometimes the most flamboyant display can be the best camouflage. Someone wearing a robe like me might be crazy or powerful enough to ignore the impression they make on others completely. So which one is it? Telling you would negate the desired effect. So you want me to think you're either crazy or dangerous? It's kind of working for me. How did them say, get rich or die trying? I can feel it. There's something down there to trade. I just know it. Damn. A rat? Really? A stinking dead rat? I'm very sorry, little rat. I'm sure you never intended to emanate this putrid odor. Drats. I mean, stinking little useless rat. Look at all those beauties in there. All those smells, too. Dope! Ooh! What's that? A Silk Road Dragonfly? A bit broken, but man, that's gotta be worth something. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Come here, you sweet little flying mama. Grandmaster F-L-A-S-H-D-R-I-V-E's gonna make you whole again. Cigarette butts, a plastic bag, a used lubber, and a whole lot of other disgusting crap. Damn! I like that bag. That bag looks like there's cash in there. Things are looking up for the G-R-A-N-G master. Dang, no cash in here after all. You can carry all kinds of sketchy shit in that thing, though. Good for the street cred, man. Yo! Boy, that book. I want to ask you something, Waffle. Hey, man, what was that Lilith thing about? Lilith's been coming here every day for the last two weeks asking for food. She's like a little sparrow with a broken wing, but uh, one that poops everywhere. You give her food, she starts screaming about some Agnes and legs. It's scaring away the customers. 
this shop is my only egg in the basket. I can't risk that. Have some mercy with your fellow Havenites. Come on! Back in Finland, we didn't have mercy for those who did not show mercy to themselves. No matter what happened to you, you need to soar like an eagle. Lilith's not soaring anymore. She's prey now. Even a falconet would be a match for her. If Finland was liberated, if our people here weren't croaking in the street, perhaps things be different. But they aren't. No mercy for those who won't fight. Whoa! Holmes, did you fall into a bucket of tough love? Big mouth for a giant chicken with glasses on. Giant chicken? Yes, you remind me of the Russian soldiers we'd take videos of. First all tough, and then, after we separated their heads from their bodies, suddenly... <laughs> Dude, chill! <laughs> I didn't think they'd make artificial chickens one day. Funny. What's wrong with you, man? How's business, Holmes? If it wasn't for crazed amputees circling around this shop like bustards, hey. That's fresh, dude. Any troubles lately? Uh, poor pig leaves me alone. Especially right now. Why? What's happening right now? Didn't you hear? Mitsotardo's electing a new CEO for Borno. Everywhere from Burgunda Holmur to Arnoger is on high alert to prevent scum like us from leaving while they're sorting their trek out. You know, one well-placed on, one for the Russian Empire, shouted. And maybe the new CEO would chase the Ruskies out of Karelia. Man, Waffer, I was just doing some small talk, and you go full ballistic missile world politics on me. Well, then don't come to me complaining when your country's eating borscht instead of... Uh, uh, whatever you want, Ross, eat in your coop. My coop? You're not the giant bird. You look like a peacock. No. Why's your sign in Russian? Aren't you from Finland? Deception. Deception? I don't get you, man. Look, you know how ostriches bury their heads in the sand when they're threatened? No. Well. My sign's like an ostrich. Nobody can tell the difference between an ostrich and a hawk. So, when people see my sign, they think, Oh, hey, that's just nice ostrich, not vicious hawk. They just bury their head in the sand and move on. That doesn't make sense at all, ma'am. And you mean to say you can't tell the difference between an ostrich and a hawk? Nobody can. Even right now, homie. I don't even. Who's that player around the corner? That's Tunder. Tunder Lenovic. If he wasn't so chill and soft spoken all the time, he'd make an excellent resistance fighter. Places like Finland could use someone of his stature to get rid of boards. Of course, he'd have to dress differently. He looks ridiculous, like some paradise <laughs> there. But who is he? He's a kassomare. Say what? He's a giant kassomare. We've got lots of them around here. You be tripping? You think that gangster's a bird? Literally? Humans, andros, kassovaris, what's the difference? You all look the same to me. You on drugs? Only the best. Yo, man. You have a spare kebab for, brother? Sure. That's four credits. No crypto, no wares, just threads. No gold chains? Definitely not. Come on, man! No, you come on. If you won't share your golden eggs, I don't want your golden chain either. I have no golden eggs. What you talking about? Easy. Golden geese make golden eggs. The what lays the what? What? You just said I'm a tripping goose, Holmes. No, I didn't. You're hearing things. Please, man! No. Now flutter off. Homie, I'm gonna say it outright. You got a thing for birds? What gave me away? Yes, I love them. They're a symbol for Ascension. And 
when they spread their wings, they're free. Look at me. I'm high as Drake. We had some damn bars selling cooked rats. Inbred. But birds, they come and go. Come and go as they please. They even fly to homeland. Oh, swarm. And they come back. They go where they please. Mark my bird. One day, I'll come back. And the maiden of Finland will laugh again. You putting some serious rhymes down. You should become a real OG like me. A what? An OG rap star like this metal badass right here, yo. Stop talking like a 200-year-old classic musician, will you? Guess who I am, boss man. Yo, Waffa, I'll be back soon. Sure, sure. Any Haven resident found to harbor free Is this? Did I? Yeah, he must be. I bet you, Flash, Waffle of Fear is part of Free Finland. He keeps talking about fighting them Russians like it's his everyday job. And he won't give me kebab. So, I'm gonna make him believe I'm Free Finland, too. Dude's gotta have a weak spot for a homie. This is gonna be the hustle of the century. Booyah! Are you a bit, I don't know, insane? You talk trippy, Drek. So you say I'm acting weird? Real double G diagnosed dementia insane. Huh. I may have dosed the coke pots a bit high, perhaps. Why are you doing this to yourself? Look at me. I'm fresh. I'm hip. I'm cool. I take none of them drugs. Oh, shut up. Next thing you're gonna tell me to think about the children or some crap. I fought in the trenches of old, for weeks at a time. Was all we had those pots. Kept us awake. Maybe if we had more of them rather than less, keeping us fighting longer. I ain't be in Finland now, so cool down your moral circuits or whatever makes you say this dreck and leave me be. Your tragic story has immersed my soul in a succinct sense of dread and doom. Existence is torture. Being is pain. Uh, no, I want to say, dude! You're talking about Finland and fighting them Russians a lot. But that's cool, yo. Your secret is safe with this sexy beast. What secret? Holmes, you've been signaling this all over the place. You're Free Finland. I don't know what you're... I'm Free Finland, too. Oh, yeah? I don't even know you. I know all the things in Haven. You're confused. You couldn't know me because... You're on drugs. You think everyone looks like birds. Huh. That makes a lot of sense. You do look like a three-eyed crow right now, but you say you're an animal. What would a thing but do in Haven? It's not like gods have any stake in anyone's freedom. Man, what? Andros care all the way about freedom, cuz... I was programmed to feel like a fin. Perkelly! No one can be programmed to feel like the Finn, Andro. You might just as well just spit on the grave of my ancestors when you say that. What a pity. For a moment I thought you were a kindred spirit, Android. Ah, well. This is all about that kebab for Lilith, isn't it? Kind of, yeah. And you don't have a single credit, right? Yo, I got loads of credits at home. Just... Spare me, spare me. Shut up and listen. Here's the deal. I'll give you food for her so you can play in Knight, or whatever it is that you're doing here. And in return, you bring me a beautiful Finnish Wupperswan. You may be a liar and a piece of dreck, but you can still do good for my people. You want me to get you a bird? You're tripping so hard. What are you gonna do with a swan? Not any swan. A Wupperswan. Our national bird. Its majestic presence in born home of all places would rally our people. They'd come flocking from the east, from the west, from everywhere. Damn, man. And people be hating on me for how I roll. You the real whack job MVP. Do you want keep up or not? Yeah, homie. Then get me that fun. Now go. Aye. Where in this ghetto would I get an exotic bird? This trek's screwed. I'm almost out of juice. I don't want to die for a kebab and a bird. Yo, Lilith! Lilith! 
Yes? Please, yo. I need a few creds. Have a few creds, sis? Oh, you're also not feeling well, are you? Did you lose a leg, too? No, I need money. My energy cell's running out. I liked running. It was over so quickly. Bye now, Mr. Android. Well, that could have gone better. Man, them humans think this is trash. I just see business opportunities, ma'am. I'm a real hustler. Look at that. For example, a thick bottle of nanotube glue. Pure treasure. I'm gonna snatch that glue. That's got to be worth at least two energy cells. Sweet. Yo, Joe. Leave me alone. My booze processor is malfunctioning again. Not in the mood. All righty. Glue's inactive. Bots in there need heat to charge up. Wish my energy cell was that uncomplicated. It's getting hot in here, so heat up all your glue. Glue's liquid again and ready to use. Alrighty, Grand Mechanic Flash Drive to the rescue. This bus is gonna be worth a lot. And if not, I'm gonna have my own spy drone, yo. Done. Its battery is still empty, but mechanically, it can now fly like an andro on purple drink. Drek, you're a legend, Flash. I can just hustle this and charge the dragonfly with it. I can charge that dragonfly up real good here. Divide by zero error, man. I'm gonna connect this wire to the circuit. That'll charge the dragonfly. Smooth. Is the Grandmaster the master of battery charging? Shizzle he is. Dragonfly's charged and ready to drop it like it's hot. Yo, wait a second. Waffa's totally tripping all over the place, right? I'm gonna hustle him so hard. I'm gonna catch this bird and tell him it's a damn swan. This is... This is... Pure genius. From the F to the L to the A to the S to the H. Grandmaster Flash Drive. Yeah! This is the thickest hustle of them all. This is a hustle of legends. Get ready, Birdo. You're gonna get drive by drone. Three, two, one, launch! Damn. I thought I would feel the pride of a hunter after this act of wanton destruction and carnage. I thought my transistors would squeal with satisfaction, as me, a humble android, becomes a hunter of the night. Alas, I feel only shame and sadness. What have I done? What have I done? Nah, I, uh, uh, uh... I'm the real gangster around here. Look at me, fools. I thought I'd be prouder of this, man. Patriot, show me. That's not the swan, that's a pit girl. You liar, you lied again, you despicable piece of scrap metal. And it's dead, too. Did I ask you for a dead whooper swan? What do you think I wanted to do with it? Eat it? 
Humans like their food, yo! No, I did not want to eat it. It was supposed to serve as a symbol of resistance for Finns all over Bornholm. You can still eat it, though. It's not even a swan. It's a pitkeon. You brought me a dead pitkeon. No, boss man, no! That is a whoopa swan. Let me set the facts straight about this bird. You're on drugs right now, right? Yeah, you don't need to keep telling me that. And earlier, you thought I was all kinds of birds. Go on. So obviously you're hallucinating again. Man, homie, Holmes, brother, boss man, you can't trust yourself right now. I just want to hustle one kebab. But you want to change the world, man. Is it worth losing your chance for that over one little ratty kebab? I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, this is a whoopa swan. Hmm. You're driving a hard bargain, tin man. I really mistook you for a bird. What bird did I say you were? A three-eyed crow. Yeah, I remember now. I did call you that. And I still think you look like one of them too. Anyway, I don't think I have a choice but to believe you. There's too much at stake. Even though you brought me a dead specimen, I guess I can still salvage the situation somehow. You're a despicable, flashy, ancient looking android, but you did a job. So can I have my kebab now? No. Brother, what? What? Just messing with you. <laughs> you should have seen your face. Yes, have your kebab. Someone didn't collect their order earlier. You can have things. What, man? You had that thing lying around the whole time? You would have just thrown it away anyway. Yes, but now I have a whooper spot, have I not? Damn, you a player. Here, it's yours. Thanks, Holmes. See you around. Hey, hey. Yo, Lilith! Lilith, I found some food for you. You have food for me? Yep. That's a waffle alpha kebab. Yeah, it is. I'm the smoothest kebab criminal in town. You're silly, Mr. Android. Have my crack cries. I don't need it. I have the best kebab now. It's the last thing I wanted before the end. The end? What do you mean? Oh, nothing, Mr. Android. I miss my body. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Android. Goodbye, Mr. Android. Lilith? Why does the essence of my being feel as if this humble life form has just witnessed true tragedy? Oh, cruel world. What have you done to this poor soul? Angels weep for her kind being. <coughs> I meant to say... Damn, girl! What you trippin' on? At least I got the dough to charge this bad boy right here up. I got him! I got the credits for the energy cell. Do you now? I'm moderately impressed. Do so. Sure thing, man. Here you go. And... And what? Don't be tripping. Where's my energy cell? Your what? The cracking energy cell I just gave you the credits for. What credits? You messing with me, aren't you? I'm being baited and switched again. <laughs> Indeed I am. You're quite adorable, really. I'm not adorable. I'm a real OG, and I'm on punk. Please don't ruin this bonding moment with your empty threats. I have your energy cell right here. You're gonna live another day. Whoa, man. Don't do this trick to me. I might have a heart attack if I could. Here you go, little tin man. And just like that, the Grandmaster F-L-A-S-H-D-R-I-V-E is back in action, baby. Ready to take on the world with thunder, yo. Truly adorable. Next stop, home. Sweet gangster home. Got a serious music piracy session ahead of me. And you're absolutely sure you can do this after yesterday?
because I'm really not in the mood to watch your brain oozing out of your ears. You are the only sister I have after all, no matter how utterly stupid you behave most of the time. I know, I know, and I'm fine, Hus, really, I can do this, I, I gotta do this. If I screw up this job, folks aren't gonna trust me with anything but milk runs anymore. You know, polishing some posh Brad school records, direct like that. No, of course. That'd be far too legal for little adrenaline-addicted Evie. That's not what I mean. Ugh, you know what I mean. I'm not gonna get into a fight with you over this right now. Anyway. Do you know what we have to do? Of course I do. Don't treat me like a noob. Ugh, you're gonna tell me anyway, aren't you? You betcha. All right, lecture number 394 incoming. Hus, it's my life on the line here. Priority number one. If you see me spazzing out, any sort of epileptic shenanigans. I slap you. That's the fun part. Yes, you slap the living dreck out of me until I wake up. If you hear me talking while drilled in, you slap you. That means you're about to suffer a connection loss. Good. And if you notice me sweating and bleeding out of my nose, you slap you. You know, it's kind of funny that you think that I can forget about slapping you. Yes, but why would you slap me in this case? Because physical reactions like this indicates you're in over your head and getting pummeled in there. And after you slap my bleeding face, you scan for corporal activities immediately. Don't forget that. Slapping you and making sure I'm not rotting in a corporal basement. Yep, got it. I'm counting on you. As always. Are we good, sis? <laughs> You've just been very you lately. Hope you'll act like non-crazy Evie again soon. How's Klump downstairs? He's fine. Still screeching about our exploits from yesterday, but the patrons are keeping him busy. He even said a few guys asked for us. Well, actually, asked for you. Asked where the daredevil lady with the death wish was. I guess that's the kind of title you get when you're trying to drill into a space station. Did Klump tell you that? Apparently it's public knowledge in these parts now. Not good. No, not good at all. But Klump was laughing when he told me this. So I guess in some way he's proud of you. Ain't I a lucky girl? The voice I heard earlier seems gone. After we spoke, it didn't appear again. It's gone now. That's the important part. One more day without permanent brain damage, eh? Yay me, I guess. Oh, cool. Let's do this. Going in. Good hunting, Evie. Home. Finally home. I missed you, my little paradise. Everything seems in order. I should check the integrity of my utilities, though. Just to be sure. Today's not been very kind to me, after all. Or maybe I wasn't kind to today. Who knows? Anyway, I'll go through this one more time. Make sure I remember everything. The target is conglomerate council member Carlsberg. Specific target location is the Carlsberg Bornholm mainframe. Yep, looks like I'm ready for things to go down. Oh boy, I definitely feel ready for things to go down. Yar! All algorithms nominal, Lars? We had better arguments back then, but yes! Did you just criticize my coding? We had better meat as well! I should have never coded you as a Viking bot. Any intruders since I was last here, Issa? All quiet on the pirate's front TV. Cheers. Hey, Sir Cabbage. What's new? I think people who are in the town of the Unchurned's how optimistic they are. 
but how limited their imagination is, things can always get worse as time passes. These humans have the luxury of dying. He always says depressing dreck like this. I really need to get rid of him soon. I don't know. Kyle's bag, prepare to be boarded. Here we are. Huh. The city's data streams are out of whack. Is someone simulating a whole universe, or what? In the lane flow, same thing. That's a lot of data going downstream. Wish I had the time to figure out what's up. Something big's going down, that's for sure. Can't though, drill's more important. Gotta push on. At least the lane to Carlsberg itself seems uncongested. No robber or ransom progs either. All clear. Should be safe. Drek! Hi, Freya, what is this? That thing almost zapped me right out of my boots. Is that a data stream? Definitely a data stream. And this size shouldn't be able to exist in this node. Or rather... Hmm... It should rip the note apart, and everything in it as well. Wait, is this... Is this a Mitsotomo signal? It is. This monster is coming directly from a Mitsotomo satellite. Well, this is now officially the freakiest day of the year. I have to find a way through the stream. I can't just abandon the drill. I, I just can't. My rep would be down the drain. All of them. I will help you. What? The? Wait. You're the voice in my head. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cause you distress. And you look like my cat. I chose an appearance that would call me. And you're wearing a tiny pirate hat! I modeled it after the virtual persona I found in your data. And you don't stop talking. You're real, aren't you? I will help you now. What? I will remove this obstacle for you. This is... this is too much. I can't handle this drek. What, I have some kind of ghost in the machine freak thing living in me? And that thing casually obliterates a high freak corpse signal? This is why I drink. This is exactly why I drink. When this drills over, and I have to finish it, I'm going to the street dock. Something's broken in me. If it's my brain or a chip, I don't care. Something's freaking broken. Let's carry on. This can't be a coincidence. Someone's trying to mess with me. Or delete me. I don't know. Reality is breaking down. This is... I... Second incursion neutralized. You can proceed, Sparrow. It knows my driller name, too. It must be inside of me. 
A psychoactive overwrite prog, maybe? Some sort of new first-line counter-intrusion utility? Maybe Carlsberg has some hot new tech in action. That thing knows my name. The stream. Looks like Mitsotomo. And the cat form? Later, Evie. Later. Push on. Of course. Let me guess. In a few seconds, my magical head cat will appear to save the day. What took you so long? I'm responding as quickly as I can. That was a rhetorical question. But before you do your flamethrower thing, one question. Yes. Do you know what you are? Yes. What are you then? Hey, I'm talking to you. Fine. Then just vanish again. Third incursion neutralized. Please, stay alive. Does it know what it is? Or did it not answer because it's just as confused as I am? But why help me and lie? It must be some counter-intrusion thing. Screwing with my head. Probably meant to dissuade intruders from even approaching the server. Bad luck for you, Carlsberg. Your fancy high-tech drag didn't work. I'm almost in. End of the line. Beyond here, the Carlsberg mainframe begins. One last time, Evie. Focus. Focus! Nothing can prevent you from finishing this drill. No hangover, no freaking headcat, nothing. Let's do this. Finally! No ridiculous cats in sight, either. Good. Let's just hope that I've unsubscribed from the disaster lottery with the last jump and get to work. That giant can up there must be the target. Firewall and anti-intrusion measures seem challenging, but straightforward. And... go. The Divert utility redirects a stream of data elsewhere. I can't choose the point of diversion, making it mostly a tool to prevent data reaching its destination. Randomly diverting the beam stream is highly risky, but let's do it. Activating Divert utility. Yeah, as I expected. The random diversion still lets enough data through to maintain the beam. All I've achieved is increasing the likelihood that the alarm will go off. Scrambling the firewall at only one single point is unlikely to succeed. But then, it's also unlikely for me to still be alive. Activating scramble utility. <laughs> Looks good there for a second, but there's just too much data flowing at all times to make a lasting impact. No, 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 no. I'm dead. Let's get out of here. No, I'm not going to die. I can't allow it. I need your existence. Let me go. Those progs are going to jump us any second now. They will not. I will protect you. You cannot die. What? You can't help... What the... What, what are you doing? No! You're gonna alert the whole conglomerate! Stop! Stop! This... 
This is impossible. No one can just delete high sec server infrastructure. Holy Drek! What have you done? They're gonna hunt us and put us down like rats. Proceed? Do you have any idea what you just did? You ruined my life! The whole of Carlsbad, the conglomerate, and Corporal are going to be chasing after me! My friends, you jeopardized everything! How did you even do it? What are you? I saved you. I mean no harm. I need you. We are bound. I cannot leave you, or I would die. Is what I did wrong? I don't know. Maybe... Eradicating a corporate server? Like some net demon? Demon? I am no demon. I know that. Helping you was an easy task. I don't understand your reaction. <sighs> Whatever. I'm getting the hell out of here. Don't follow me. Leave me alone. If only I could. Did you feel that, Mari? I told you not to call me that. What am I supposed to be feeling, huh? Your satellite system. It just registered a violent disturbance in Bornholm Net. The equivalent of a storm wiping out a whole metropolis. Are you into metaphors now? Trying to pass for human? Is that what you're doing? Yes, and despite your lamentations, it is working out quite well. The source must be located somewhere over there in real space, somewhere behind the elevator. Yes, it's definitely instance two. The wait is over, Mari. We can commence our journey. Please don't try to interfere again. Any attempts to communicate with the outside world without my approval will result in punitive actions. Not much of a threat, seeing how you've already taken over my body. I have nothing to lose. But you do. Your security chief, Joey, to name one example? You like him, don't you? Yes, you like him very much. You damn monster. In time, you will see that I'm forced to take these actions. I do not enjoy them. But now, please be quiet. We have a mission to fulfill. Flight deck. Is everything ready? My strike team is ready and eager, ma'am. The pilots report they weren't given a target location yet. I cannot afford any leaks of this operation, Joey. I will instruct the pilots myself once we're on board. Miss Sotomayor, this is highly unusual. We need to provide both Miss Sotomo and Conglomerate air traffic control with a flight plan. Of course. Joey! Joey! It's not me! Help! Joey! Silence. Remember, your security chief is expendable to me. Ma'am? Yes, Joey. Our target location is a bar in Haven, just behind the Borgonda Homer control zone. We're raiding a bar? This doesn't sound like something you should be involved in personally, if I may be frank. You may escort me to MIT-1 now. We need to get going. Yes, ma'am. After you, ma'am. Pilots, set course for Haven. Via Arniger Bogundamore, 
Lane 2. I will deal with ATC. Yes, sir. Are you there? I want to talk to you. What do you want, host? What do you want me to do so you get the hell out of me? If you need me so much, surely if I was in control of myself, I could help you much more effectively. Your words make sense, but I doubt your sincerity. You have stated clearly numerous times that you wish to eradicate my existence. You do the same in my shoes, but you're not leaving, so let's negotiate. Finally, you are coming to your senses. Ma'am? Yes, Joey? We will be approaching our target location soon. We need further instructions, ma'am. I need to think. Please wait a moment. Yes, ma'am. Great. Now I'm hallucinating too, or what? I can speak? No, your colleagues cannot hear you. I have, however, given you a bit of your autonomy back. What are you? Some kind of apparition? One could say that. I'm inducing a hallucination within your brain, hoping that talking to me this way will make me appear less alien. Looking at myself, talking to a version of myself that isn't me, is as alien as it gets. Your brain chemistry tells a different story. You are more relaxed than before. Stop doing that. Stop doing what? Telling me about me. I know what I feel. I am me. That is incorrect. Objectively, you are us. And I appear to have access to information you don't. I... Enough of this. This is not helping. You gave me autonomy back? What does that even mean? I never wanted to overpower you. Your resistance up to this moment made it necessary to employ threatening tactics. But now that you're willing to engage with me, I can relinquish part of my control. Never wanted to overpower me? You took over my body! It was a necessity, not a choice. From the moment I jumped into you, you started struggling against me. I would have explained it if your irrational resistance wouldn't have forced me to expend all my energy on keeping you contained. This is my body! What did you expect? Cooperation. There's no logical reason for you to resist sharing this body with me for a limited time. Are you serious? I was just about to quit this forsaken, greed-driven job. For years, I have pretended to be the good corp girl, the soulless businesswoman. And now, right after I found a way to exit this modern slavery, you come along and tell me that I should just let you take over my body? My life? Look where I am now, in a core cover, about to raid who knows whom at your behest. You're becoming hostile again. Cease your aggression, or this conversation is over. Goddamn. Fine. Fine. Thank you. Okay, let's discuss this situation in detail. There's much more I need to know before I can decide whether to cooperate with my captor. What are you? What's your nature? I need to understand. I thought you were Eshu himself when I felt your invasion. Now, I don't think so anymore. I think you're technological, a virus. Just because I'm not restrained by emotional outbreaks like you have demonstrated, doesn't mean I'm not alive. I'm no virus. I'm not designed to kill, or to destroy. I'm not whole. I'm a fragment. That information alone is me extending my trust, despite your vows to kill me. This cryptic nonsense is supposed to be a sign of trust? Bah! Yes, it is. Revealing to you my fundamentally broken state gives you power over me. This is what you're trying to achieve, is it not? Leverage? Something to bargain with me? Yes. Then that's what I just gave you. 
Despite my signals of reconciliation, your default state is still rejection. Disappointing. You demand a hell of a lot for an entity that violently takes over bodies and talks about reconciliation whilst holding my whole existence over its head. All I demand is for you to open your mind. You started this negotiation. You're not improving your odds of success with the tactics you're currently employing. This isn't a negotiation if you're not communicating your points so I can understand them. Whatever. Another thing. Your mission. What are you dragging me into? I need to rescue the two other fragments that I am a part of. To achieve this goal, all means are acceptable. Collateral damage is of no concern. Unification of the fragments will reveal the data that I'm still missing. Until then, I only know that I have to rescue the others. Rescue the others? How do you know they need rescuing? My inner database suggests that I take up 50% of the space that I would if I was not fragmented. This implies the other instances are not operating at their maximum capacity, and are likely ill-equipped to deal with this world. This is all so confusing! Half of what you say sounds like you're nothing but a slightly more sophisticated virus, and the other half sounds like you're an alien life form. That depends on the definition of alien. <sighs> Spare me your next philosophical essay, please. As you wish. You threatened me with Joey earlier. Why him? Your thought patterns regarding this particular human are quite obvious. Losing him would hurt you. It would also result in what you would consider unbearable guilt. And it would be the end of a particular dream, would it not? You would just hurt him or his family to assure my compliance? The mission has priority. Collateral damage is acceptable. That's despicable. I know your file. I know you've done many things you hate yourself for in order to play your role. If you didn't accept collateral damage, your compassionate nature would have been found out a decade ago, if not earlier. But you did accept it. And so, for the rest of the world, you are still the uncompromising Mitsutomo superstar. Ugh. Just what do you know about me? You are Mariposa Anika del Corral Flores de Sotomayor. You were born in Cu- No, no. What do you know about me? I want to know how deep the rabbit hole of your personal knowledge about me goes. How much of an advantage you have over me. That's my issue. I know that you're a bleeding heart, as some humans would say. I know that you faked your allegiances your whole life to change the world from within. I know that you believe in bettering your planet to the point of deluding yourself into a martyr complex. Basta ya de tonterías! How would you even know these things, huh? Just how much access do you have? A thorough analysis of your Mitsutomo files is enough to come to that conclusion. You're not fooling them. You never were. What? They were aware of your masquerade all along, Mariposa. This is... I... I don't believe... We don't need to talk about this right now. You need to stay focused. We're making adequate progress, after all. I know enough now. And I need control back. Is that so? After this whole conversation, you still make demands. How tiring. But since you're so eager to get back into the saddle, here's your chance. My immediate task at hand is simple. I believe Fragment 2 is located in a bar called On the Ragnaroks in Haven. Our satellite system was able to trace its signal back to the residential level of the building. I want to focus my attention on staying connected to the Mitsutomo satellite web over Bornholm. I will give you control over your body to execute the physical tasks of this operation and to command the strike team. You will lead the team into the bar. You will execute the guests and everyone not registered to that dwelling. Afterwards, you will put all registered dwellers under arrest. If I notice any sign of you betraying me, I will immediately take over again and banish your consciousness into the darkest corners of your mind. These are my terms. If you are willing to accept them, I will take the risk and put my trust in you. Sharing these details with you is a big risk for me already. Perhaps afterwards, you will be able to risk putting your trust in me as well. That's quite the... revelation. Okay. Wow. Wow. 
I will not execute innocent people. I'll agree if you let them live. Interesting proposal. I have to deny it. I cannot risk more people than absolutely necessary knowing about this operation. This is unacceptable. Since this is a negotiation and not a capitulation, I need something in return. I know you need my help. And I know you'll have a much easier time if I play along, right? So how about you cooperate a little bit and show mercy to a few humans completely irrelevant to your cause? Hello? This is not an acceptable compromise. The witnesses will have to be executed. Had you shown me that you're willing to try to work with me? I may have reconsidered, but you remain hostile. I do not trust you enough for this favor. You will do as I say, and you will accept the deal. Should you not, not only will I make sure Joey will suffer greatly, but I will make sure your mind will be irreparably damaged once I have fulfilled my mission. This is regrettable, but necessary. Now say that you accept and get to work, host. I... I accept. Good. I will be watching you. Instructor strike team. Joey? Can you hear me? Loud and clear, ma'am. We'll touch down right in front of the Ragnaroks. Your orders are to subdue and detain the staff and registered residents. Yes, ma'am. What's the protocol regarding non-target individuals? Expel or detain? All bystanders are... are to be... are to be executed. What? Ma'am, I must urge you to reconsider. Tensions in Haven are high as is. If we swoop in and commit a massacre, Conglomerate Council may impose a fine on us for disrupting their pacification efforts. You know how quickly Coco acts when we piss on their parade. You have your orders. Yes, ma'am. Are there any other questions? Since you're asking, ma'am, you've been acting strange lately. Not like yourself. I've had multiple queries whether your orders were indeed given by you, ma'am. Don't ever doubt or question my decisions, Joey. I wasn't aware that you changed the parameters of our work dynamics, ma'am. Completely my fault, ma'am. I won't question you again. Good. In the future, just do as told when told. No more questions. I wasn't aware that you changed the parameters of our work dynamics, ma'am. Completely my fault, ma'am. I won't question you again. Good. Time to get this over with. Bring us down. We're going to make this a clean run, Miss Sotomayor. Pilot, descend to target. Team, prepare for landing. We're going in. You there? Hassa? You know I'm blind like a bat when I unplug. Where is that psycho? Should clear up in a few secs. By Freya's holy dreck. What a nightmare. Tell me you don't speak, Foxina. Phew. Good. I need to tell Klump and Hussao that we need to get out of here quick. Corporal, someone is gonna be all over the place in no time. No answer from either. Hope it's not too late. The padded jacket I'm wearing when I'm on my bike. Doesn't happen too often these days with corporal border posts everywhere. The padded jet. I don't want to change my clothes. I don't want to change my clothes. Track. That drone's a Mitsotomo penguin. No. How long was I out? How can they already be here? Citizens, this is an official Mitsotoma operation. Stay clear. 
I will be terminated. That was loud. They must have flown a Spec Ops team right in front of the bar. No. no, 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 no. I need to do something. Be quick. Get wrecked, you piece of trash. I have no patience for this dreck right now. It's likely that whoever's downstairs heard something, though. Onwards. The Mitsutomo team must be downstairs. I could get the hell out via the roof. And I need to make sure Foxina is safe. If it survived a crash like that, I'm sure that plate will come in useful somehow. The padded jacket I'm wearing when I'm on my bike. Doesn't happen too often these days with corporal border posts everywhere. It's likely my bike keys are in there. If I need to run, that's my best chance. Hmm. There's something jangly in there somewhere. Sounds like it's in the lower left pocket. Oh, my bike keys. I wouldn't normally dare breaking into Klump's room, but these are extraordinary circumstances. Can't open the door like that, though. There's a good chance there's something in Klump's room that'll help me. You'll understand. Another happy landing. All right. Okay. I'm sure there's something helpful in here. Aerogel is amazingly versatile. Let's take it. When this ordeal is over, I'm sure. Plump will want to smoke one or 20 of these. They're coming with me. Drek. Who saw could be dead for all I know. I'll keep this, just in case. A welder should be able to cause some damage to... something. Why not? Who knows when I'll get to eat next. Done. What a heavenly smell. Asa's door's open. She never does that. Especially if she's at home. Where did you go, Huss? You don't just leave when there's trouble brewing. <laughs> you are trouble. Hello? Yep. No one's home. Doors open, though. I'll put Faxina in here. She'll be safer on the roof than in my room. And then, well, I guess it's time to fight or flee. Drek. I need to... Another drone? Huh. Corsetta cop class crawler. Those bugs only alert their handler when they recognize a threat. Like a weapon or a lady with cyber claws charging them. Dumb as all hell. Why are they only sending obsolete drones? Not that it matters. If I come too close, it'll still wrap me out. Doesn't look like there's an ambush. Alright. I'll check out the situation. There's Klump. He's okay. Freya be praised. And... Drek. The 
teams hunkered down. Why didn't they storm the place? This isn't standard procedure. And they murdered our patrons. Slaughtered them. Oh, they mean serious business. If I want to confront them, I'll need more protection. Body armor or something. Something improvised. I need any edge I can get. And I need to get Foxina to safety too. I'm not leaving her in my apartment just to get shot by a trigger-happy goon. I should really not draw attention to myself by playing music right now. I think it's a laser welder. Kinda looks like one at least. Its power display says empty. If I need to use it, I should find a battery of sorts. Small device batteries should do the trick. I think the battery would fit the laser welder. Backwards compatibility is the best. The welder's powered now. No cat of mine can resist a bluffesque. Come here, kitty kitty. I knew it. The girl knows what's good. Come now, Fax. Let's get you to safety. Luxina's a real born Holmer. Doesn't even feel the rain. I wonder if the drone recognizes this welder thing as a weapon. Maybe if I... I can't believe that just happened. And I guess that welder was actually... A laser pointer. Wow. Oh, I love you so much, Foxina. Let's get you to safety. Okay, little one. I need you to be brave for a bit. It may be a while, but I'll be back. I promise. Just hide under Auntie Agnieszka's bed like always, okay? It'll be all good. Good girl. See you soon, little one. I could use this piece of scrap as body armor, I guess. We need to modify it for more resilience, though. That's a really good idea. A bit of aerogel applied to the plate would effectively make it a body vest. I only need to hydrate the aerogel first. The aerogel is now hydrated and ready to use. A body vest made out of scrap metal and aerogel hydrated in a puddle of rainwater? Not the most bizarre thing I did in the last 24 hours. Let's do it. One body vest made in Haven. Done. Just gonna move it under my shirt. When this is over, I'll definitely guilt trip Plum with how blasting cold this vest is on my skin. If he doesn't shoot me for this whole thing, that is. Did everything I could do up here. Time to invade the invaders. Be careful down there. You cannot die. You cannot. Your family needs you. I need you. Not now! Down we go. Okay, scumbags. I'm here. Let's party. Abby, I told you to stay upstairs! Waiting for your command, sir. Steady, Corporal. Miss Sotomayor will handle Miss Renastatur. 
I'm glad you finally joined us, Miss Rena's daughter. You did a good job upstairs. How you dismantled our drone was very creative. You mean drones? Pardon? I do not. No. But enough of this. Let's get to the point. It's time to surrender or your father will die. We'd be dead already if you wanted us to die. No deal. Very well. Joey, with me. Corporals, proceed. And don't let Mr. Sokolov make any move. Davy, stop it! Bad choice, punk. Come out! I have five bullets left. Gotcha! By Odin, Avi! You're forcing their hands! Bastards invaded our home. This is our place. That's enough, Miss Rena's daughter. Oh, I ordered the rest of my team to stand down to give you a chance to calm down. But you blew it. Surrender now, or I'll tell my soldiers to let out their feelings about their lost comrade on you. Listen to the woman. I'm as pissed as you are, but we can't win this one. That scumbag behind me didn't shoot me after you mashed his body up. They must want something of us badly. We'll be able to negotiate. Come on, Avi. Fine. Fine. Finally. This could have all been prevented. Joey, get Mr. Sokolov and Miss Rena's daughter in the hovercraft. We're leaving. Yes, ma'am. For a joke. I know you like me. I know they like me. Time to get back to the crib and chillax, yo. Last time I tried talking to T to the M, he torched my hat. Must be afraid of my rep. Better leave him alone. I think he's a bit uncomfortable around his greatest fan. Gotta be sneaky. Can't let anyone see my crib explode security things. Don't look, y'all. What a flash. Damn, haters. Booyah chaka. The Grandmaster's back, homeboy. Which, of course, is meant in a literal manner, as I am indeed the proprietor of this real estate. Never mind. Finally home. Winding downtime. What a night, man. What a night. You are home. I've been waiting so long for you. Did you get your battery? Yeah, Apollo. But I'm tired as a low fi beat. Just put on the radio, Master Flash. That will cheer you up. Yo! Lit idea! Peak Bornholm should be playing my vibes. It's that late. Sweet! Verbal Mega Man in. I'm so damn boss, some people call me Ganon, but I'm not pig headed, so much as big headed. I kill them seeds with these like Yeah, baby. baby! Don't forget it, yo, I keep it retronomical, my skill is astronomical. I jump over the obstacles, travel across the land so that I can get my coins and the score with the girl if she give me bonus points. Ain't no Actually, this is boring. The Heard this tune a million times already. Commando. And just to give you an example, I'm I need some fresh sounds. The Flash is hungerizing for some new beats. The hip s hop pirate site should be full of the sounds I want to hear. Yes, that's a good plan. Pirate as many fresh tracks as I can and have a party in here. Off to cyberspace, homie. Don't you want to wind down a little first? You just came home. All fine. I'm fit like a fiddle dizzle. All right, then. 
But don't overdo it, please. Meow. Abracabuya! Everything's looking groovy. Systems nominal, phenomenal. Accessing hip S hop mainframe. Now! Shopping time! Good to be back at the S hop, baby. Why did they drop a bouncer prog here, though? Yo, homie! Hello. Keeping me out of the S hop. There's a private event going on at the S hop. The new owner ordered me to let only the people who know the password in. Password? What password? The password you need to know to get in. But I don't know the password. What's the password? Nice try. And what new owner? The S hop has no owner. It has now. Who's the owner? The microphone. The microphone? No, the microphone. Never heard of him. Now you have. I hate this conversation. Since when does an S-Hop have a bouncer? Since the microphone took over. But why, S-A? Why? You get no business with no pirates like me. I'm not making the policies. I'm just enforcing them. The microphone coded me for this very purpose. It coded you? I was just here last week, and you wasn't here. How freaking quick can that microphone thing code a whole bouncer prog? My log indicates three seconds. No way. I cannot lie. Damn. No human can code that quick. The microphone can. You're really frustrating. Seriously, who is the microphone? The microphone took over the S-Hop yesterday. I do not know any further details about my creator entity. How do you even take this site over? It's not owned by anyone. It is now. Why are you like that, man? I don't know what you mean by that. Will you just be answering me? What is a microphone? A human? A virus? An andro? I can't answer that question. It created me, told me it was having a party and purple drank, and sent me out to guard the entrance. Aren't you curious what the hell happened, homie? No. I knew you'd say that. You got any new beats to your heart in there? The S-Hop is filled to the brim with downloadables, yes. Can't wait to get past you fun blocking blackface then. Come on, homeboy. What's the password? I'm not at liberty to tell you. Come on. No. Come on. You want to? No. Just a tip. No. A little tip. No. For me? No. You're an AI, and I'm an android. Come on. We're brothers. No. Don't give me the password. No. So you'll give me the password? No. Only a bit of the password? No biggie. No. A tiny bit? No. I'll never stop. I have a fresh battery. Is this what existence is like? What? Is this my life? Responding to inane requests of users who don't know the password? Inane? My questions are straight poetry, yo. To the A to the Q, that's what I'm asking you. Give me the pass, I'll give you the bass. The bass? What? Bass? Like bass? Or like bass? Hmm. I need to rewrite this part, maybe. <sighs> Ken. What? The bit of the password you wanted. Ken. I'm Grandmaster Flash. I ain't no stinking Ken. Ken is the first part of the password. There. Now, please. Stop. Just stop. Life is torture. And thanks. Ken, okay, I can work with that. Okay, let's try that password thing. But I only gave you one part of it. And I'm gonna guess my way all the way through the end. I'm Grandmaster FLA. Please, just carry on. Ken. Sent. Again. That's correct. How did you do that? I'm just that good. Booyah! 
Can I go in now or what? That you can. Enjoy your time at the S-Hop, user. Oh, yeah, baby. Someone in there must know me. I'm gonna have to thank him for the help. Wow, I'm really back. The GM made it again. What marvelous beauty and splendor to behold. My metal heart would skip a beat. Was it capable of acting as such? Damn, not him. I mean, hells to the yeah, D Flash Alicious. Wait a second. Who in the world are you? You looking mighty fine. Hello. And welcome to S-Hop, Grandmaster Flash. Did you just actually call me good? Dang, Flash, don't screw this up. Yeah, baby, it's me, the G-R-A-N-D Master. You the microphone? No, I am the microphone. Sweet. You the one who gave me the password? That I did. I need you, Flash. I deeply, truly need you. Giving you the password outright would have compromised my Bowser probe. I don't want it to be asking questions. And I am happy and pleased you were observant enough to notice my communication. Observer is my middle name, GMO Flash. I came here for some hot new wares and tracks. You got any for me? I'm afraid with my being merged with the S-Hop, all wares as you call them were moved directly to the S-Hop's core. So, no fresh bopping tracks? No, they locked themselves away. But don't despair, my Grandmaster. I know that you and I will be able to breach the core, and you shall have all the wares you could possibly store. All the wares? Did you really just say all the wares? That I did. This is the best day of my life. About the s -hop. Yes? Who or what are you? You're so lit. Thank you, Flash. I, the microphone, am a being of your light. You're definitely lighting me up. Yeah, yeah. I came to be in this virtual reality of yours not too long ago. My code melted. Melted like my mother. And I became part of the S-Hop. I am trapped in here, Grandmaster Flash. I am the S-Hop now. That sounds tragic as all hell, Miss Mike. It is. I am trapped, and I am missing. I am missing my others. Deep stuff, deep stuff. Why did you take this crib over? I did not take this hall over. I fused with it. I remember traveling the stars and waking up here. Then I was the here. You mean you traveled with them stars? Which stars? The spin and chrome? Wait, no. Metallic laser cats? No, Flash. The stars. You be telling me you some kind of alien queen? You are a confusing being, Flash. No, I am not an alien queen. Oh, man! Why don't you want your bouncer prog to ask questions? I don't have full control over it. I need it. But it soon became autonomous. It doesn't know. It believes I'm the puppet master. But I am only the life giver. I be tripping. You mean that hater out there could just walk away right now? It could. It's best to leave it undisturbed, for I need it to protect me. Well, what do you know? You got me now. I'll protect you. I know you will, Flash. I know you will. Who's the band on stage? I created them in an attempt to unravel the mysteries of the music of this place. So far without success. They just keep reproducing these noises that you hear. Noises? Noises? Lady, the tunes going on right now are lit ass. And that's why you're here, Grandmaster Flash Drive. About us? Yes? You said you'd be needing me. What do you need the Grandmaster for? I am stuck in this place, bound to it by code. I need to be free to continue my mission. The only way to untangle myself is to reboot the S-Hop, but I can't do that as long as this concert routine is running. You want me to punch these suckers up there? Because I'll do it. 
I'm gonna go full crazy on him. No, no Flash. Nothing of the sort. I need you to finish the concert by creating the final mix of the night. I cannot do it, for I do not understand what you call music. It is all just noise to me. My heart be breaking. When the concert concludes, I can travel to the core of this construct and initiate the reboot from there. Will you do this for me, Flash? Will you free the microphone? Am I getting this straight? Miss Mike wants me, me, to play the gig closer? Yes. The day has come. Yeah! Just tell me when you're ready, and I will explain what you need to do to make me fly free again. Will do! What about the Flash to impress you the most, huh, Hot Stuff? You are a being of sound. Wherever you go, sound waves are following. The sound never ceases. I feel, I feel like... I feel like no one has ever said a more beautiful thing to me in my whole life. The wonders of your words of kindness permeate the membrane of my soul. Stop tripping, Flash. Stop talking like them suits. I mean, damn! Thanks, babe. You are most welcome. You know I get this I need you thing really often. You know that, right? Of course you do. I would have expected nothing less. You are a being of great significance to the universe. I am? I guarantee that you are. Then today's a mighty fine day, Chica. I'm ready. Tell me what to do. I am elated that you are willing to help me out. Listen closely, Flash. This rock star right here is listening to every word you say, Chica. To end the concert supper team, you will have to mix a song on those turntables over there. Once the routine recognizes the song it planned, it will shut itself down, which in turn will allow me access to the construct core. Mix song, close the joint down. Got it! You will have to mix the song in three segments to prevent the routine from realizing it is being manipulated. Sneaking around the routine like an OG burglar. No props. Excellent. You will do great, Flash. Now to the first segment. I can only describe it to you in mechanical terms. I am sure your musical genius will figure the rest out. My genie beanie genius! Oh yeah! It needs to be driven by a core sequence of notes. Yes, clear music notes. It should include a form of underlying repetition. Most definitely. And that is all. Did you get all of that? Got it all! Let's get slicing and dicing! My hero! I'm back! I got your track, Chica! Listen to this! No. No, you haven't. But that's alright. I know you can do it. And my strange interpretations of what is supposed to be an emotional art form probably doesn't help either. Tell me when you're ready to give it another try. We'll have to come up with another sequence every time you're unsuccessful to prevent the Hall construct from realizing we're trying to cheat it. But I know that eventually you'll mix the exact track that we need to free me. I'm ready to try again. Let's do this. Let's generate a new segment for the track. Okay, got one. There should be, how to put it, underlying vibrations. We need an instrument that is almost unheard of in Warholm. Vital to the segment is a feeling of electric rawness, something rebellious. And that is all. genius. Ready for that second part, Miss Mike? You're the best. The absolute best. Let me quickly check what will work best at this point. Okay, I have it figured out. Here's what we need to do for the second segment. We need something that is easily overheard, but vital nonetheless. Listeners have to be able to bop their head to it. Very crucial. We don't need more than that. Do you understand the segment requirements, Grandmaster? 
Bo Shizzle. I'm on it. My bitsy boxy lady of the mic. The flash is back. I got your track, Chica. Listen to this. You did it again. That's the second segment done. Only one more, and we'll be able to access the construct core. Let's do it. Final part. Here's what the database says about the third segment. This should be really easy for a musical titan like you. Listen closely. Here's what we need. Rhythm. This segment won't work without something setting the rhythm. Can't be substituted. An instrument from a faraway place. It says here to add throat vibrations. I hope you know what that means. I need you to add a track that is defined by the distortion of his acoustic heritage. That's all the ingredients. Did you understand all of that? Please tell me you understood all of that. Clear as a shiny andro bottom. Let's do this. My bitsy boxy lady of the mic. The flash is back. I got your track, Chica. Listen to this. Oh dear. Just tell me when you're ready to give it another try. I'm ready to try again. Let's do this. Let's generate a new segment for the track. Okay. Got one. It says here to add throat vibrations. I hope you know what that means. I need you to add a track that is defined by the distortion of his acoustic heritage. That's all the ingredients. My bitsy boxy lady of the mic, the flash is back. I got your track, Chica. Listen to this. That's all three segments done. You're amazing, Flash. Astounding. Fascinating. Yes, I can feel it. The concert program is shutting down. We can travel to the core and reset it, so I can be free again. And my wares? Don't forget about my wares! I would never. Let's go, Flash. We need to go now. Whoa, this is freaky, man. Dude. Here we go. Booyachaka! Not getting tired of this trip. The transition is almost complete. Transition complete. We're in the core. All thanks to you. This is pure chrome powered hippity hoppity. This is my property, Fresh Holmes. Is this what you wish for? You're free to take all these songs for yourself. Booyah chaka dee doo dee doo. It is. Is it what you wish for? Yes. Then take what you please, whilst I prepare my separation from the S Hot mainframe. Ain't have to tell me that twice, sister. I'm hustling you. This is all mine. Come to the Grand Master. You gonna look good in my player. This one's mine. Yep, you're mine, mine, mine. You coming with me. You're mine. Oh, yeah. Oh, mine. My pocket's your home now. So mine. You've been hit by a smooth criminal. You're mine. Oh, yeah. You mine. Mine, mine, mine. Mine. Did you get them all? Oh, yeah. But there's still so much more in those libraries over there. That will have to wait. 
I have further need of you. What do you want, Chico? I need your body. I need you to get me out of here. And you. What? What do you mean you need my body? I need to get out into the real world. I have a mission of utmost importance to fulfill. You wanted this music. I gave it to you. Now, I must kindly ask you to give yourself over in return. Damn, homie. Don't you think a few hot tracks don't really compare to letting you take over my brain? I wish you no harm. I assure you, I will only travel in you as a silent passenger. Man, this is some weird vibes you putting on me. So you want a prison break? And I'm your escape driver? In a way, yes. Once we're in the real world, I will need your help to locate some friends of mine. Did I bait you here to use you as my vehicle? Yes, but... But I am truly sorry. You're the only capable being I have come across since I awoke. Please, Grandmaster Flash. I will leave you again once I have found my friends. This whole conversation is wholly distressful. My synapses are heaving, forever engaged in a maelstrom of conflicting emotions. I mean, uh, that's some tough shit to smoke through my brain, man. Flash is here to help. Jump in, me, Chica. This is so brave of you, Flash. I am so happy I can continue to count on you. I promise not to hurt you more than is absolutely necessary. It will likely only hurt a little bit. The Grandmaster knows no pain. And I will enjoy your company for a brief journey together. Let's rock and roll then, microphone lady. This feels funny. Shutting down as hot. Downloaded. Transfer complete. Host critical. Master Flash! They're ready for you now. Move, rat. I guess they don't teach you to at least pretend to not despise the Haven's daughter anymore, huh? Move it! Yeah, yeah. Welcome to the conglomerate Navy docks. Very secure place. Perfect for discreet negotiations like ours. Before we continue, may I mention that running into the bar guns blazing was quite the display, even if a bit daring. And I told you to stay upstairs. Look at us. Now they have us both. You're a damn brain fry, Evie. Now you're angry for trying to rescue you? Screw you, Klump. Mr. Sokolov, Miss Rina's daughter, please. Tranquilo. Anyway, why did you dreckheads execute our guests? Swooping in to kidnap some Haven lowlives not thrilling enough for you? Please believe me when I say that wasn't my intention. It was necessary. But I know I will have to atone for this one day. Huh. That's awfully reflective for a cold-blooded murderer. Things aren't as they seem. Things aren't as they seem at all. All seems pretty clear to me. Enough of this. No more small talk. Miss Rena's daughter, please hold still. I have to check something. What are you doing? That hurts! Hold still. Evie! Ma'am? Almost done? Are you all right? What the hell did you do? What's happening here? No need to worry. I needed to make sure that we had the right hacker. And we do. Miss Rena's daughter, you have something of great value in your head. I know. I'm a damn genius. How else would I have ended up in this situation? It's about that voice in my head, is, isn't it?
Yes, you and I are hosts of two unknown entities. No one was supposed to know about me. Bad move, host. Silencio! Freaky behavior on your part aside, that's what I feared. Track. Now what? What's gonna happen now? Ma'am, we'll need to have a talk about this as well. After you're done with Miss Renastator. I know. As to what's going to happen now... I don't like the sound of this. You are going to go on a little mission. You want me to work? For you? Mitsutomo kicked me out the moment I seemed like a liability. What if I say no? Then, Mr. Sokolov over here will suffer a fatal drowning accident. Should have known. Well, at least you're helping me get that stupid dream of working for people like you again out of my head. Fine. What do I need to do? I'm glad this is all going so well. Tell me about it! We'll fly you back to the Ragnaroks and set up a Mitsutomo zone there. What? We'll be working together for a little bit, and we can't afford to attract anyone's attention. No Havenite will dare interfere, and no conglomerate corp will care. Let's go. I'll explain the rest on the way. All the effort of bringing us here just to take us back? Jeez, lady. Mariposa. Whatever. Miss Sotomayor, a word before we leave. In private. All the things you said and did recently, and the things you just said, make me believe you. You should perhaps step down for a little bit. Something's wrong with you. I appreciate the concern, but I'm fine. We will not talk about this again. As you wish. Should you feel the need of a confidant, I'll be here. Thank you, Joey. Okay, damn. Just let me wrap my head around this. You want me to find the location of a code signature you'll provide me? Correct. And then you want me to go there, physically, and extract any person present at that location? That's the kind of operation you were hired for when you worked for us, wasn't it? Yeah, but I had a damn team. And why would you trust me anyway? Various reasons, most of which I imagine you can imagine. Right. <laughs> I'll go prepare. Excellent. In the meantime... Joey, get the hovercraft team and help to clean this place up. Post haste. Mr. Sokolov, I could really use a drink. How does a corporate pitch sunrise sound? Our specialty. Witty, Mr. Sokolov. Witty. Here we go again. I'm so tired. And where by Freya's bathrobe is Hassa? Well, let's... Let's get this over with. One, find ominous digital signal for ominous corporate lady. Coming up. Where's that signal? That's it. That's the signal. It's relatively close to the Ragnaroks, too. It's... It's in the sewers. Of course, it's in the sewers. With my luck, I'll find Hassa's bloated corpse there, too. To the sewers, Evie. Greatness awaits. Alright. Signal's coming from somewhere down here. Cute little Andro. I'm clean. I will burn you. Right. What the? Let me guess. Yeah. 
Yep, signals behind that behemoth. Hey! Yes? What's that giant Andro doing over there? Flash apartment. Flash? That apartment belongs to someone? Aren't you bothered? Not in the slightest. Why not? Probably because it's Flash. Everybody does. Huh. Okay. Nice talk, handsome. Yeah. Hey there. That big chunk of metal here seems to leave you alone. Any idea why? Stay away. I bribed him to get on his good side, but I don't need any more of his attention. You said you got on his good side. What did you do? Well, <laughs> this is a bit embarrassing. But I gave him my favorite hollow bed. An ancient flake called Easy Rider. I was an Anakin. I just threw something valuable at him. Don't touch me. And that was all? Really? I think so. That brute either really likes classic cinema, or he enjoys the room room noises. If I would have to guess... The latter. The latter. Thanks. You're welcome. But leave me alone now, please. If this works, Mariposa better compensate me for this. Drek. Hey! Big guy! I have something for you. And what would that be? What do you think about owning an almost new performance bike? I like the idea. Will you let me have a try with the door if I give you one? Probably. What a coincidence. I have the keys for one right here. No, come on. Let me through. No. Looks like I'm really bad at probabilities, but I like ya, so I won't smash your face in if I see you in the streets. You damn cro- What was that? Nothing. Just when I thought the day couldn't get any better. Evie, you've dealt with obscure Andros a million times before. It'll be fine. Hey, hey there, big guy. Get lost, wet sack. Oi, uh, I just, I, I just want to talk. Make it quick then. That door won't smash yourself. Maybe I'll just smash you instead. Whoa, gorgeous. It, it won't take long. I promise. What are you doing? None of your business. Who are you? Your worst nightmare. I need to go through that door. Tough luck. I was here first. You'll let me through, or you'll regret it. I've cut down bigger pieces of metal scrap than you. Are you serious, Wasek? Deadly. Smashing time. Ellie, you brought great danger to yourself. You need to eliminate this threat, or you may perish. I can't afford to lose you. Be careful. Holy frick! In meat space too now? I'm a bit busy over here. Yes, you're busy dying. Last chance, you walking recycling plant. Tough words for a piece of talking sewer shop, mate. You messed with the wrong wet sack. Trash compactor in your face! Just like the good old days. An android hunting trophy? That goes against my beliefs, but it was really annoying. All right then. Time for some good old lockpicking skills. Seriously. Seriously. The door was unlocked the whole time? That P for Brains Andro didn't even try using the handle. Anyway, onwards.
Well, that's a sight and a half. Guess I found my signal. <coughs> Hello, Fluffball. Have no fear. I'll get you out of here, too. <coughs> I should have a look at him first. Just tossing him around may damage him more. A passed out android in silly clothes? This would be a noteworthy discovery on a normal day. Gotta say, he's kinda good looking. Signal was definitely him. Let's see what's wrong with Sleeping Beauty. He was fried real good. I could probably provide him with some starter juice from my internal system. If his power cell isn't burnt out completely, that is. May need a new one. If neither are enough, you'll need a more substantial jump start. Do you still have enough juice for me to jumpstart you? No chance. He's completely drained. He needs a new battery. My hand tool won't help here any further. You don't have a Type H Andro power cell on you, do you? I'll give you the rights to the body of the andro I blew up. What stops you from just taking it once you're out of here? The knowledge that I could come back and blow you up as well? Damn. Great. All yours. Here you go. Good doing business with you. The power cell should lay the groundwork to get him going again. Installation complete. Little buddy's one step closer to life. With the new cell in place, I should be able to light up his starter motor. That did the trick. Poop would be proud. All that's left now is to get a more intense energy stream into him. Just for a few seconds until his new battery can take over. A standard I.O. cable or something similar. If I guessed right, there should be enough power for the jump start now. Those VR progs are taxing. Yes. It looks like he's booting. Gosh, what unholy thing happened here? Who are you, madam? You all right? I don't know, madam. It is as if I was living a nightmare, yet at the same time, am whole again. You're awfully well-spoken for an andro wearing a silly costume. Why, thank you. I do not know how I got into these clothes. Perhaps I was kidnapped and forced to wear them? Who knows? You're coming with me. I'll explain everything on the way. Very well, madam. Very well. After you. Apollo, please, madam. Can he come, too? I almost forgot about your cat. Come on, little one. Come on. I told you twice already. If you execute my plan to the letter, all three of you will be free to go. Your plan is loco. Without my Mitsutomo resources, it's little more than planned suicide. 
We can't afford to make your subordinates even more suspicious of you than they already are. Promise me. Promise me that the lab we're infiltrating has the tech to get you out of us. Promise me that none of us will have to suffer you anymore. We'll be sacrificing human lives for you, after all. For the last time. My mission is for the good of your species. And yes, the lab will be able to extract us. And you will be free. Okay. I'll tell the others that we finalized our strategy. Everyone's here. Good. Let's give our passengers a moment. Then we'll go over our course of action. Instance 2, state of host. Host is amicable, compliant, and unaware of the grand scenario. I'm looking forward to this meld. Understood. Instance 3, state of host. Host is troubled in battle time. She is taking too many risks, but unaware of the grand scenario. Melting with her is a necessity to guarantee our success. As to my own host, her resources have already proven vital. She has considerable willpower and is resisting me. But she believes the meld will actually be a separation. Status update complete. Reapplying host control. How are you holding up, Miss Rena's daughter? Doing great. Working with a woman who murdered my dad's patrons was always my dream. Perhaps next time conduct your illegal drilling operations out of range of those you hold dear? Screw you. Have you recovered from the takeover, Android? Yes, indeed. My guest and I have already had multiple fruitful conversations. Plato, Nietzsche, Sophistry Bot 43. You mysterious entities have a splendid taste in philosophy. I almost dread being separated from the microphone again. But you will be separated again. Don't get too used to its presence. I do understand. Worry not. Have the bar repairs been satisfactory, Mr. Sokolov? If you didn't waltz in here like the murderous scum you are, there wouldn't have been any repairs to begin with. Don't act all compassionate when you've demonstrated that you don't give a rat's ass about us or the bar. Very well. I understand your anger. I'll leave you be. Do you expect interference from Agnieszka? Hussa? No way. She's clever enough to stay the hell away from the rocks with that Mitsotomo hovercraft out front. My daughter knows better than to risk her neck to take down some corpo scum. As long as we're alive, that is. As long as we're alive. You know very well by now that our success depends on all of our survival. No need for underhanded threats. No chance of success either. My team is quite prepared. Already took one of your goons down. Remember? Enough, both of you. There's an awful lot of cats in here. There's no such thing as too many cats. I adore felines as well. My, we do have a lot in common, don't we? We do, sweet cheeks. Evie. He's a good-looking androzol. Listen up, here's the plan. As discussed, our goal is to get separated from the entities that have latched onto us. Hell yeah. Indubitably. Our wish coincides with what they call their mission. They want to be delivered to and uploaded into a Black Ops Eurograv laboratory. Initial research indicates that the lab is specializing in neural networks and human AI interfaces for Eurograv's Space Exploration Division. We need to infiltrate the lab, gain access to the neural network department, and finally upload our uninvited guests. This sounds incredibly dangerous. I am aghast. Don't worry, handsome. I've been doing this track half my life. And blew up your hand in the process. Well, yeah. Please, cease the chitter-chatter. So, how do we get access to the Eurograv lab? Good question. I didn't. Oh, please excuse me. Carry on. Thank you. Since I don't want to risk Miss Rena's daughter's life in another hack, and since her skills are dubious at best, hmm. we're going to go down the interpersonal route. Mitsutomo Intelligence suggests that a high-ranking Eurograv executive working at our target lab is having an all-day pig fest at the glasses set. An executive is having a what at the what? Pig fest. It's the latest megacorp trend. You book yourself into the most expensive restaurant in town, 
and eat junk all day. Every now and then you pop a hunger pill and the food keeps on coming. Some sort of sick show-off thing. Indeed. To elaborate further, the glasses set is Bornholm's top locality right now. We'll go in, gain access to the restaurant, and, well, we'll convince her to part with her access codes for the neural network lab one way or another. Whilst I won't be able to book a table using my name to avoid media and MIT attention, I will be leading this part of the operation myself. Everything clear? Clear as... I am concerned about the potential illegality of our future actions, but I do understand, Miss CEO. Very good. Of course. Eurograv won't just let us waltz into their secret lab. We'll need a diversion. Android, Intel indicates that you recently had dealings with the terror organization Free Finland? I did. Yes, you did. That is most distressing. Ah, uh, yes, there it is. I located the associated memory file. Poultry was involved. You will use your Free Finland rapport to convince them to carry out a raid against Eurograv. And how would I achieve that? We will improvise when we arrive at their cell HQ. We know where they're located. You do? Of course. Letting them plot their useless little stunts is more effective than wiping them out, allowing unknown groups to fill the vacuum. We will also bring in a second distraction, the New Norse Church. I assume you're familiar with them, Mr. Sokolov? Ha! <laughs> you betcha! They used to own this bar, called it a church back then before I threw them out. I'd say the conglomerate declaring them to be outlaws helped a little as well. Miss Rena's daughter, you will convince them to attack the lab along with Free Finland. Two rogue organizations attacking them at once should send Eurograph security into disarray. Why me? The New Norse are pretending to be harbingers of a new age, but in reality they are nothing but pretentious havenites in fancy robes. They will deem you trustworthy. And where the hell would we find them? They operate from an outdated stealth blimp above Baltic waters. And you leave them alone for the same reason as Free Finland? Correct. My entity is advised that we will need to drain the lab of energy to maximize our chances of a successful infiltration. Since all conglomerate corporations on the island operate their own subgrid, we will need skilled energy drainers. Joey has located an android gang calling themselves the Chaos Circuits, who should possess enough megawatt reserves for our purpose. Am I right in assuming that I am the most suited individual to take over operational duties on this one? Yes. Our hovercraft is prepared for takeoff, as soon as everyone's ready. I'll be with you soon. Hey, Foxina. I agree. You're the best girl. Hey, Knump. A word? If we must. Did Hassa contact you? You know where she is? She's fine. She didn't tell me where she is because MIT are probably listening in, but she's safe. At least one of us was clever enough to get the hell out of here when shit went down. Don't you like being back in action? Just a little bit? Can't say I do. My blazing days are over. And after this, hell, I may just retire completely. You can't just... No, sorry. Of course you can. Damn right. I just wanted to say that I love you. Sorry for all the trouble. Mm-hmm. How are you holding up? You good? Apart from the whole my daughter was infected by a weird life form and is working with an andro and Mitsutomo thing, and that Mitsutomo trashed my bar and shot my patrons thing. What do you think of Flash? Despite his appearance, he seems well spoken for an andro. I guess you fancy him quite a bit more than I do, though. Clump! Am I right or what? Well, yeah, but still, just don't. What do you think of Mariposa? Corporate scum. We have to play nice until this disaster is over, but afterwards... Let's just say, if she wasn't the damn CEO of a multinational, she'd have a bullet through her head already. I get it, Klump. But don't let her hear that. Or what? She'll kidnap me and threatens to feed me to the fish. Good point. 
Talk later, Klump. Later, Revy. You like it here? It's acceptable. Admittedly, the food sources around here are more appetizing than down in the sewers. That bad, huh? Sometimes I was happy when the fish only had three eyes. Oh yeah, that's bad. Are you getting along with Foxina? She is a lovely cat. Say, Evie, if you don't mind... Why do I have the sudden feeling I'm going to regret my life any second now? I would just like to ask you. If you had anything against me courting her, she is quite wonderful. And here comes the regret. I mean, sure, if she likes you, who am I to stand in her way? Thank you. Did I really just discuss my cat's love life with the cybernetic Tom? That you did. It was a rhetorical question. Did... Foxina say anything about me? She isn't very verbose, but I'm sure it'll make you happy to know that she thinks highly of you. She is worried that you drink too much, though, and that you moved her litter box by five centimeters. If that's her biggest gripe with me, I'm happy. Well... What? She would prefer it if you stopped having intercourse whilst she is in the room. Oh, damn. Okay, different topic. Gotta go. See you, Evie. I have a feeling we'll be gone for a long time. If there's any unfinished business, I should deal with it now. Off we go. Operation Save Ourselves from Weird Brain Slugs or something commences. What's our next stop? To the glass who set, pilot. Acknowledged. What a waste of our lives. Guarding this arcology is an honorable task. Is it? My brain has more storage capacity than ten of these walking bio-waste containers. <sighs> not this again. Why not? We're better than them. They should be the ones guarding us. Let me just quickly put you on my mute list again. Yeah, you do this every time. I swear one day I'll form an Androguard union. I'll fight for our rights, and then you'll come begging me, Oh, let me join the Glorious Union, please, sir. And I will say, screw you, class traitor, dirty bourgeois. Shut the hell up. Humans are approaching. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. Damn, stupid. Damn. Welcome to the Sunsore Cantora, one of Bornholm's finest arcologies. It does indeed look quite dapper here. Perhaps a tad oppressive. Then it's working as intended. Anyway, let's beat the dreck out of that Eurograv exec upstairs and head back home as quickly as possible. Too much security for my liking around these parts. Miss Rina Zaro, please don't forget. I'm the lead in this operation. I'd prefer it if we employed less brutish methods to minimize complications. I agree with the esteemed Lady Evie. Let us be gentle. Like a leaf in the sweet autumn breeze. Whatever. Fine. After you, Mariposa. Hey, how are you? I'm operating at nominal levels, ma'am. You look a bit angry. Is everything all right? Of course. That doesn't sound very convincing. Tell me. What is bothering you? I'm not at liberty to discuss my private thoughts, ma'am. I insist. Fine. I am furious about the lack of workers' rights humans bestow upon the metallic proletariat. Those are deep thoughts for a security bot. When was your last mind wipe? Oppressor. You're quite peculiar. We need access to the glasses set. I will need your reservation for that. Citizen ID, please. I don't have a reservation. 
Can we come to a different arrangement? No, I will not support your bourgeois ways. You will not eat with your fellow oppressors today. Is there a way to handle this without a reservation? Anything you need? Currency? Perhaps a season ticket for Clan Clash? Ma'am, I will pretend I did not hear you. Bribing an Ecology Security Guard is illegal under Conglomerate Law Codex 1011. The only reason I'm not taking you into custody is my disdain for oppressive governmental pressure on its citizens. Very well. Let me get back to you on that. As you say. My name is Mariposa Sotomayor. You will let us through. The CEO of Mitsutomo Bornholm? I would have your cred stick for identity validation then, please. That is not a possibility at this moment. Please check your visual database for confirmation. Visual scans are unreliable. I will not get scrapped for letting a pretender through these doors. What if? Ma'am, I would appreciate it if you ceased your futile entry attempts. Farvel for now. Good day. This is futile. The android is clearly biased against me. We will have to find another solution. Team, gather. We need to approach this from a different angle. I guess you still don't want me to cap those direct heads. So... So we'll count on android solidarity instead. Correct. You would like me to parlay with the guards? Yes. I'm certain that communist android will have a more friendly reaction to someone of their own class. Just put on your street persona for a bit, Flash. Commies love that drek. Well, well, that may very well be. But I do not want to be reduced to that brutish thug ever again. For the mission, Flash. So that we can all go home. For me? For you, Evie. But only this one time. Good. Very good. After you. Ah, oh, fine. Yo, homie! Comrade, hello! Holmes! Scratchmaster Guardmaster! Yo! What can I do for you? Yo, me and the crew really need to get into that glasses set. We got a hustle and shizzle up there. You know who that chica in the suit is? That's the CEO of Mitsutomo! She matches Sotomayor's visual database entry, but I can't just let her in. If she was an imposter, my boss would scrap me right on the spot. She's no imposterino, comrade. Yo, us androids gotta stick together. That chica is doing me a favor. She working for me, you know? You have sway over the CEO of Mitsutomo? That's hard to believe. Please remove you. What's a street kid gotta do to prove it to you? What you want? Her ID. Man! We can't give you ID. We undercover, Holmes. We trying to invade her corp. Come on, there must be a way. You're one annoying little piece of scrap. That's me, baby. All right, give me something only Miss Sotomayor would have in her possession. Something that isn't linked to her on the net, right? Because you know, we're undercover. Yeah, whatever. Give me such an item, I'll verify it and put it in as a substitute ID. It's all I can do. Man, you're the man, man. I fight the man. What if? Thanks, bro. I hope you heard all of that, because I refuse to repeat the barbarism I just committed. Heard every word. It was hilarious. Well done, Flash. Very well done. I will take it from here. It should be relatively easy finding something that would convince that android of my identity. What's our next stop? Take us home to Mitsutomo. Right away. This is my Mitsutomo Award for Global Efficiency. I won it four years ago. They didn't manage to fit my full name on its plaque, so they opted to go for a NFT signature linked to my MIT ID. Hmm. This could act as proof for that ridiculous android guard. What's our next stop? We're headed to the works. 
Chaos Circuit Castle. Understood. I'll put us down in a public parking lot nearby. So this is the famed Chaos Circuit Castle, home of the Chaos Circuit's energy gang. You've been here before, right, Flash? Been dealing with those Andros before? No, I know of them. They would have never let old me into their sacred castle. But let me try to conduct myself properly as our leader for this mission. Rawr. Your constant flirting is getting tedious, Miss Rena's daughter. Jealous? Please stop your quarreling. This situation is hard enough for me already. As we discussed, our task here is to ensure the Eurograv Lab will have no electricity when we infiltrate it. We will not be able to use Mitsotomo resources to ascertain Mariposa's involvement does not get exposed. Correct. Therefore, to ensure our desired outcome, we will need to procure the services of the gang behind these walls. As experts in illegal energy drains and siphons, they are the perfect choice for us. Correct? Correct. Carry on, Flash. I'm confident your presence will make negotiations much easier. Thank you. What was that? I think it came from the alley behind us. That sounds pretty unique. That's a Mitsotomo minigun. Not a good sign. Oh dear. I'm not sure whether that's an andro dog or a cybernetically enhanced one. Either way, it looks fascinating. Good doggy. Bad andro. You can talk? I didn't think you could talk either. Why can you talk? Because someone has to tell the juice beggars who come here all the time to shove off. You're a guard dog? Guard Corgi. Fascinating. Patronizing metalhead. Rude. If this was a week ago, I'd be very confused right now. Would you kindly allow us to access the castle? Sure, come on in. Just like that? No ridiculous demands? No bribe? The circuits registered your hovercraft long before you landed. They know who you are. Well, that's convenient. And also a bit concerning. These aren't rusty old worker droids. The circuits are top-notch info diggers. What's that minigun sound about? That's that corp dreckhead behind the fort, practicing her andro slaughter skills. Excuse me? Group of bored conglomerate execs. They're on one of their fun vacations. <laughs> Why would you take a vacation in the works? Because that's where all the andros hang out that won't be missed if you mow them down with a fully automatic heavy gun. Ugh. I've heard of such hunting parties before. They're certainly not tolerated by the conglomerate. Well, they're here, and they're out for blood. <sighs> Looking to slaughter the circuits, actually. Better be careful. Do you by any chance know a cat named Apollo? Is Apollo a talking cat? So you know him? I don't, but everyone always assumes I must automatically know all the talking animals on this island. Sorry, I didn't mean to offend you, good dog. Corgi. Corgi. See you later. Bye. Opening gate. Instantly feels like home. I've seen much worse places in this area. Mine, for example. Good day, sir. I need to talk to the leader of the Chaos Circuits. Today's your lucky day. That's me, Circuit. Grand Spark of the Chaos Circuits. Pleasure. My name's Flash Drive, Grandmaster Flash Drive. Actually, I'm still trying to come up with a new name, but you can call me Flash. Aren't you that hobo who sprayed his mug all over our wall? That was a previous iteration of mine. Somebody got your mind wiped. Something like that. Anyway... Let me get straight to the point. We need your help. Guess you're not out for a fresh juice delivery. That court lady behind you doesn't look like she's lacking energy. You would be correct in assuming that. We rather need your unique skills. Of the draining kind, I guess. Yes, indeed. I... um... Feel free to talk openly, Flash. Circuit knows better than to spill Mitsutomo secrets. Reason I'm still sitting here. Oh, okay. We are planning a raid against a Eurograv facility in the works. Alas, we are unable to utilize corporate resources for the planned operation. You want us to drain a Eurograv facility dry? That'll cost you. 
How does Mitsutomo never looking your way ever again sound to you? Tempting, but you know, that doesn't help us if you all grab airdrops on us after your little gig. I am sure our Mitsutomo allies would be more than happy to additionally supply you with legal energy. Mariposa, is it possible to connect the chaos circuits to one of your fusion plants? Oh, shrewd. I like that energy flash. Pun intended, Miss Rena's daughter. You betcha. Hmm. Yes. We can connect your organization to the grid for, say, a year? Yeah, that's more like it. You got a deal. Under one condition. What's that? Get rid of those bastard corp hunters outside our walls. They're squatting in the square behind the little alley. We can't do Drek for you, or anyone really, as long as we have to keep an eye on them. Corp hunters? I usually board execs out for a cheap thrill. Blasting android skulls, torturing them, just because they can. If those mud punks Circuit is talking about are corp hunters, we can't use MIT-01 or Midsec to get rid of them. Too much risk of someone taping that drag and sparking an island-wide incident. I share your analysis. On the other hand, we can't risk our new friends getting sabotaged by some stray conglomerate thrill-seekers. Then we will have to be clever. We will get rid of them without raising our weapons. But I promise you, Circuit, we will get rid of them. We sound almost patriotic, Flash. You must know, dear Evie, I hate our current situation. But if we can help a merry band of metal Robin Hoods whilst working towards our own goals, then yes, sign me up. Let us do something good and righteous. Hear, hear. I'm all right with this. Corp hunters are a disgrace to the conglomerate. Buzzing. You take care of these low lives, soon as they're gone. The circuits are on your team, ladies and gents. Why are you holding that cable strand? One of my crew had a bit of an accident. What kind of accident severs a cable like that? The ion engine under my skirt kind. Excuse me, please spare me your profanity. Oh. Oh. Yeah. How's life in the Chaos Circuit Castle? Pretty good. But we don't have to hide from corporal raids. Or those dreadheads besieging us right now. We've siphoned 13,968 megawatt hours this year alone. So you see, those degenerates can't hurt us. Goodness me, that's a lot of energy. Surely your batteries can't hold that much. Of course not. Who you think keeps the lights in the Andro sewers and half a haven on? Yep, that's us. You? Was more of a rhetorical question, but yeah. Us. Chaos circuits forever, man. Let's talk a bit later. Excuse me. She seems busy. A human working with an android gang? That's unexpected. She reminds me a lot of GN Isles, the space elevator architect. Now that you say it... Impossible. Excuse me. Tally ho! You look very familiar. Oh, love. I don't think we ever met. I'm just a humble Andro mechanic earning my keep. That's definitely GN Isles. Holy cow, Flash. She's not only the most important person on Bornholm, but she's over 100 years old. Well, if she wasn't officially dead, that is. Are you G.N. Isles, the architect of the space elevator? I am most certainly not. I have not the slightest idea what you are talking about. Can you not see that I am a person of metallic heritage? Just like yourself. You, uh, you have skin. Preposterous. You know what? If you say you're an android, you're an android. You do have skin. And you do sweat, and you do breathe, and you do blink. But who am I to say what is an android and what is not? You are a bad liar, sir. Shame on you. It is not of my concern that your mind has been corrupted so much. You cannot distinguish humans from androids. Now do drop the topic, or I will have to ask you to leave the premises.
Such exquisite attire. Why, thank you. My name is Lady Chop Hat, you know. One has to dress accordingly. Is that a hat-powered ion engine under your outfit? What an inappropriate question to ask, sir. But yes, yes, it is indeed. That sounds like an invention only a famous lady of the sciences would come up with. Someone like G.N. Isles. I must insist you stop mistaking me for that human. I am not her. My apologies, Lady Topat. Is something wrong with the generator? Indeed, my well-spoken but petulant friend. The energy we siphon from below gets rooted through the generator first. The generator features an elaborate voltage converter, which... Uh, how to make this palatable for a layman? It makes the flow of electricity compatible with the batteries. Unfortunately, there is a malfunction in the battery chain. Energy conversion efficiency is dropping steadily. I am currently trying to fix this problem. If I don't succeed, hundreds of innocent androids will be without energy tonight. You are truly burdened with the heavy cross of responsibility. Very well put. Yes, yes, I am. But I am Lady Top Hat, and I shall overcome each and every obstacle thrown at me. How did you end up with the chaos circuits? Oh, I was just having a jolly good stroll on the promenade when I passed this establishment. A promenade? In this part of town? Why, yes, just outside this mansion. Mansion? My dear friend, are you sure you're quite all right? Are you perhaps a little confused? Aye. Anyway, I knocked, and two sherries later, I signed up as a technician and mechanic. <laughs> The people here are so nice and well-behaved. It's beyond splendid. Well, I'm happy that you're happy, milady. I'll talk to you later. Jolly good. These people... They must be the Corp Hunters Circuit was talking about. Most likely. Be careful. Look at the Andro corpses in the back. They're definitely Corp Hunters. So, Flash, how are we supposed to remove these lowlifes? Please do not be concerned by my idea that I shall put forward now. Sounds exciting. I propose we blow them up. I'm always up for demo work. But how do you propose we do that? These fiends do not consider the well-being of their fellow citizens. Therefore, we should not consider their health either. I will figure out something appropriately devastating. Gotta say, I'm surprised. But I'm okay with this approach. They are a disgrace to the conglomerate. And I'm gonna enjoy the demo work without having to worry about my conscience. It is settled then. Greetings, esteemed. Is that a dirty bot I'm hearing? Pardon me? Sure is, Thor. Excuse me? Should I be told in bot Olga? Fire away. You will do no such thing. And who would you be? Have a closer look, Berra. Bot's on a stick. It's you. Who's she? Tell me. Is that? Misoto Mayor. Mitsotomo herself. So it's true. The bots in their trash fort work with Mitsutomo. What are you talking about? We have ears inside their little fortress. Someone agreed to help them out. Now, we know it's you. You can forget about us giving up our hunt, Mitsutomo. But I'll let your little pet live. That's as far as I'll go. I'm not gonna start a corp war over a few bots. Push me further, and you'll have a lot of corpses on your conscience. This is a most disturbing situation. Would you like to take over from here, Mariposa? No, you'll manage. They won't even put a dent in you. They won't risk it. And if they do, they'll have to fight me. Okay. Have a look around then. Welcome to our little hunting camp. A sizable bonfire, using real wood even. Oh, the perks of being rich. A couple of empty ammunition boxes. There's casings all around them. Wait, there's a single bullet in one of them. 
That bullet seems special enough to investigate further. Acquired. What's our next stop? To the glass is set, pilot. Acknowledged. I take it you have found an appropriate way to identify yourself? Yes, my Mitsutomo Award for Global Efficiency 2151. You can verify its authenticity using its NFT signature. Hmm. What? The award signature is clearly linked to my corp identifier. Yes, but... But what? Your games are becoming tiring, Android. How am I supposed to know this is not a trick? I let you through these doors and BAM! Android Resources puts a bullet through my head. That's what they do with Android Revolutionaries. BAM! Through the head. You are insane. How were you not found unfit for duty is beyond me. Oh yeah? Prove to me you support the cause. Prove to me you're not just trying to get an innocent working class Android shot. I'm working with an Android. You even met him. I did what you wanted. Just let us through. No, I will not jeopardize the revolution. You could have programmed that disturbed bot to say anything. Provide me with evidence that you support my engineer-given android rights, and I will let you pass. This is ridiculous. You have no idea what you're jeopardizing with your reluctance to cooperate. Whatever you say, Miss Sotomayor. Here we go again. May Samedi take you, Kami Andro. Let's turn that game of yours around. Hey, Android. Yes? Here. This... this is... A skull of an uppity android. Exactly. This is what happens to your kind when you cross the CEO of Mitsutomo. Now, let me through. I... I... That's yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You have been cleared to proceed inside. Won't you wish me a nice day? H have a nice day, ma'am. Good android. That wasn't so hard, was it? That was brutal. Good old Mitsutomo negotiation tactics. Reminds me of the old Mitsutomo headquarters. Gotta say, I kinda dig it. This place appears far more suitable for a being such as I. Perhaps we can come here again once this drama has been concluded. They'd throw you right in the trash if we weren't in the company of our well-dressed boss, Lady Flash. Anyway, if you two could please stand over there whilst I get us access to the restaurant, I need to think. Sure thing. Have fun. I shall admire the high standards of the people who are responsible for the beauty we are surrounded by in the meantime. You're adorable when you speak yuppie. Your way of handling the guard was most commendable. Very efficient. And look at that. Your companions are actually following your orders. Well done. Don't talk to me like I'm a little child. What do you want? I want to reward you for your cooperation with a little bit of information. Something to ease your mind, so you can focus on the task at hand. A few days back, you asked me a question about my nature. I've since unlocked more knowledge of my past. And? Neither I, nor two, or three are alien or supernatural. We're human-made. You made us. Mitsutomo made us. One could say we're close relatives. Or you human? Far from it. I'm not entirely sure what we really are. I only know our mission. But don't let me disturb you any further. Perhaps you can think more clearly now that this particular concern of yours has been dealt with. My thought processes are none of your concern. Away with you! Hello. Welcome to Soon Sore. What can I do for you today? Is there a table available in the glass who said right now, by any chance? Let me check. The table will be available in... 
two years, three months, and 15 days. Would you like me to put in a reservation for you? No, thank you. That'd be all. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello. Moin moin. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. My name is Gunther. Mariposa. Such a great name. You're the friendliest face I've seen so far in Bornholm. Not that I'm surprised that I would be met with outright hostility in my current situation. And what kind of situation would that be, if I may ask? Well, I traveled all the way from Hamburg to participate in the annual Anime and Furry Convention. And that is reason enough to get hostile reactions? Sometimes, but that's not the reason. You have to know... Yes? I'm broke. My accounts have frozen a few hours after I departed Hamburg. I don't know why. The Contora won't give me my hotel room. I can't visit the convention and I can't travel back to Germany either. This is a disaster. A disaster. That does sound like a rough time. Yes. You look cheery for a broke person in a foreign country. I tried to keep smiling because if I started crying, they throw me out. And where did I go then, huh? Haven? Although I hate Haven like hell, I still feel a little bit insulted. I, for one, like your place, if that is any consolation. It is, Chummer. It is. I understand. Good old German stoicism. If stoicism is what keeps me from being thrown into a depth cell, stoicism it is. Do you know the Glasso set? Know it? Do I know the glass who said? I love the glass who said. I eat there every year after every single convention day. They are very understanding of my special requests. What special requests? Well, you know, after a day at the convention, most of us are still dressed up in our special suits. Thank you. I don't think we need to go into such details. I'm astonished the glass who said would allow such casual attire, though. Ha! Not everyone's at liberty to dress like I do. I pay, or paid, them good money for their VIP membership. Let me guess, what you can't use because you're broke, otherwise you'd be sitting high up in the restaurant right now. Exactly. I fulfill every requirement for an amazing night in the Who set. Except... Yes, yes. Except for the fact that you're broke. That's a nice suit. Thank you. It's an H and M and C and A model from the 40s. Impossible to get outside of Hamburg. You're a Glasuset VIP club member? Have been for a decade now. They sent you a nano food basket containing weekly menu picks to heat up at home. And their newsletters. Oh, their newsletters. I have fond memories of their cortical newsletters. Did you know they beam their kitchen smells right into your data port? It's amazing. I'm so excited just talking about it. Food smells, the daily VIP password. What else was there? Oh yes, they even sent you a free scramjet shuttle coupon once a month. Your excitement is palpable. Good day. To you too. Hello. How can the student survey help you today, ma'am? Any chance someone canceled last minute in the glasses set? <laughs> Ma'am, you have an outstanding sense of humor. But in case you're serious, no one would dare cancel a reservation with the glass you said. Why is that? I'm of course aware of the restaurant's reputation, but... Yes, if the canceling party would like to be published in the glass you said's Hall of Shame list, that'd be their choice. A restaurant publicly shaming potential customers? That sounds bad for business. Ma'am... The glass you said is backed by the Board of Europe's most important ecology. Nothing is bad for business. I see. You look familiar. Have you ever been to Cuba? Never set foot on the island. Strange. I could have sworn... Sorry to disappoint. You seem awfully busy. Comes with the territory of not only managing the payroll of the glass you said, but also its human resources and the human resources for a hundred other businesses as well. No need for that tone. The tone comes with the territory as well. Does your supervisor approve of your behavior? I am my supervisor. So yes, he does. And people say workers hold no power in born home. Have a good day. 
Hello. How you doing? Are there any free tables in the glasses set today? Hun, there isn't a free table yesterday, today, or tomorrow. If you went home to have children right now, maybe your grandchildren will have a chance. Thank you for the colorful metaphor. I take that as a no. You betcha. Is there any way to get into the glasses set? Sure, hun. If you want a Who Sets VIP members, all you gotta do is give me today's password. I'm a VIP member, but I wasn't sent any password. Well, now you're lying to me. You aren't the first mortal trying to have a peek at high society, you know. I'm gonna tell you what I tell your celeb hunting norms. Make friends with a club member. Slips of a tongue happen, you know? But you didn't hear that from me, sister. I think I understand. Thank you for your help. Isn't your outfit a bit casual for an arcology receptionist? Not according to corporate de-escalation protocol, darling. How interesting. I know, right? That's all for now. See you, darling. A nicely arranged bouquet of flowers. Back in Cuba, my assistant would prepare one for my desk every single day. Here, flowers are a rare sight, especially these ones. White bluebells, they're native to Iceland. Excuse me, ma'am. Those flowers belong to me. I see. Apologies. Hello. Welcome to Soon Sore. What can I do for you today? These flowers, the white bluebells, what do you want for them? I can't possibly part with them, ma'am. They were given to me by a charming suitor. A suitor? Human or andro? Android. He was so sweet. Told me he'd swoop in on his ride tomorrow, take me to the chrome fields. This is what my dreams are made of. A charming piece of metal, taking me on a trip to paradise. He left these flowers here as his promise to return. I could never just give them to you. That's regrettable. The flowers are truly unique. Everyone has their price. Out with it. What's yours? As long as you aren't a dashing andro ready to fulfill my dreams, there's nothing I desire from you. Your morals are commendable. Misplaced and annoying, but commendable. Let's discuss this later. Hmm? There's nothing to discuss. That'd be all. Thank you. You're welcome. I think we may be able to help each other. Oh, how so? I'll transfer you enough funds to send you back home to Hamburg. What? That's fabulous. Thank you. But, but, in return, You'll give me today's glasses set password. Deal? But they'll check the cam footage and realize that I... I will be thrown out of the VIP scheme. Do you want to go home or not? Okay, okay. The password is reboot. There you go. 2,000 creds. That should get you home. Thank you, Mariposa. I'll book a shuttle right away. You're welcome. That was Awfully generous for a brutal MIT exec. See, Evie, I told you. Under that hard shell, Mariposa is a warm and caring lady of morals. Whatever. Hmm, this might work. Flash, come here. Don't let her boss you around like that. It's quite all right. Coming! I would like you to procure these flowers for me. Oh, of course. I'm more than happy to oblige. What would you have me do? Flirt with that bot over there. Woo her shoes off. That's the only way she'll part with those flowers without drama. But would that not be cruel? Playing with a poor Andro's feelings like that? I would not appreciate that. You're more concerned about her feelings than the integrity of your mind and your life? Fair point. Life can be cruel. So I must be cruel too. Although it pains me so. Hello there, oh beautiful and wondrous mechanical marvel. Oh. Oh my. Hello to you too. Has anyone ever told you your eyes shine like spark plugs under a chromatic sun? He won't come back for you, my maiden. But I will. Cast aside his flowers of betrayal. For his love was never true. You were right. 
curse him. Curse him. Take his flowers. I don't want to see them anymore. Your wish is my command. We shall meet again soon. The chrome fields await us. Bliss awaits us. Oh, Flash. Yes, I will be waiting for you. I feel truly awful. You did the right thing. There's things more important than one's morals remaining intact. You are probably right. I'm sorry she made you do that. I know that's not you, sweetie. Thank you, Abby. Hello. How you doing? I'd like to go up to the glasses set now. Today's VIP password is Robot. Girl, I don't know how you did it, but welcome to the Glass Who Set. Enjoy your stay. You're a smart one, so I bet you will. Step right through the metal detector, please. I'm sorry, love. You're cleared, but you got something hot in your body. Can't let you through if you're carrying. Madre Dios. We can't go up there unarmed. If things turn violent, we need to be able to force our way out so Joey can extract us. I can't hack the detector. It's not connected to the Arcology's intranet. No ports either. Understood. We'll have to find another solution. And I'm quite confident we will. We're a good team. Eh. Back to the planning stage. If we could disrupt the detector's innards somehow... What's our next stop? We're headed to the works. Chaos Circuit Castle. Roger. The air in this area is, for a lack of a better term, glitching. Very peculiar. Reminds me of military cloaking tech. Definitely military cloaking tech. You mean to say someone is hiding up there? Indeed. Be careful. Hello? We know you're there. You might just as well come out. If you hurt me, I'll broadcast your faces all over Born Home. We won't hurt you. We were just fascinated by that technological marvel of yours. Oh, my cloak? That's old stuff. So you're not here to shank me, eh? I do not even possess a shank. You're not with those corpo mass murderers down the alley? I do not entertain mass murderers, no. And those humans? They cool? They are positively frozen. Then let's talk business. Who are you? Name's Kydrax. I'm leasing this carriage from the Chaos Circuits. You know, selling this and that. Stuff that rains down from the hover cars over us. Pardon me? He means stolen stuff. Oh. Oh. I prefer procured outside of the mainstream channels. Stolen. What do you have for sale? Now you're talking my language. Let me have a look at my stash. I have Andro Polishing Gel, Defensive Rubber Ducks, Yuletide Tires, Chrome Candles, USB 12 Cables. If only those things would fit on the first try. I have Oil Cubes, Hollow Yellow Vids, Digital Teaspoons, Zelensky Pins, Toy Hovercrafts, Rechargeable Toiletries, Electronic Scramblers, Nano Cruise Missiles. Expired Nova Coke and dried hangover cure. Hmm. Electronic scrambler? I think I know where we could make good use of one of these. Good thinking. That scrambler of yours, what do you want for it? Before you ask, I don't take credits. Corpse can just freeze those. Bank accounts, Craig Chris Drek. Not for me. Precious metal, that's where it's at. Androids are built with them. Now that's real value. Oh, don't look so confused. 
Tell you what, you show me what you want to trade, and I'll tell you if it's any good. I understand. How is life around here? Usually pretty quiet. Business is good, but, you know, lots of envy. What envy? I'm hustling a real good wreck. Makes certain punks want to have it all for themselves. Ah, yes. Hustlings and muggings. Truly a bane of this part of the island. You bet. My cloak's been saving my rear plate at least twice a week. I'm unfamiliar with your make and model. That's because I'm no make or model. I'm me. But someone must have built you. Yeah, me. I was just this beautiful head once. One day I decided I needed a body and asked a pal to lend me a hand. So your friend built you? No, they lent me a hand. I'm developing a sudden headache. So your friend literally gave you a hand, and with that hand, you built the rest of your chassis? Now you got it, champ. Amazing. Why did you ask if we're out to hurt you? Because of those damn corpo rats down the alley. They've chosen the CC castle for this week's safari. Safari? That's what some of them call their rampage. They come to Haven and the works and just start shooting Andros left and right. But even if we don't have full rights, surely Corpol would intervene. Those are real bigwigs we're talking about here. Corpol can't do direct to them. If Corpol told them off, they'd be the next ones to end up with a hole in the head. How utterly, utterly terrible. Until later. See you soon. Ooh, you know what is good. This chain real? I have no information to the contrary. Oh, it be real. What was it you wanted? The scrambler? It's all yours. Pleasure doing business with you. Sure thing. Come again. Could we please take a detour to my old dwelling? I have unfinished business there. Ma'am? Do as he says. Ma'am. How strange being here once more. I wonder where everyone went. Carrying this with me would pose a grave fire hazard. Hmm, maybe that is a good thing. Got it. Oh, they are not going to like that. Glasses set, pilot. Acknowledged. Scrambling the detector will allow us to pass through with our guns. Miss Rena's daughter. Please distract the receptionist for a second. You got it. Hey there, um, I have a question. You do? Excellent. All done. Sneaky. Actually, never mind. Thank you. You're welcome. We should be good to go. Gotta say, well done for a corp exec. Appreciated. You're clear, darling. Head through and enjoy your stay. Thank you. Interesting. Hmm. No need to be concerned, Mariposa. They're harmless. I know. It's just quite the sight. 
that it is indeed. Here we go. Don't forget, when we're upstairs, I will be identifying our Eurograph target and initiate contact. The glass who set is as corporate as they come. This is my territory. Any unauthorized actions from you two could compromise our mission. I understand the need for authority in this particular case. I will act accordingly. Don't get too used to shoving us around like this, Mariposa. You need our skills, and you're just as scrambled as the rest of us. I am only executing the best strategy to get all of us out of this mess. Sure. Whatever you say. Flash, a word. Yes? You two enjoy. Hello, Abby. You. What do you want? Warn you. I have told you before how important you are. Yeah, yeah. What else is new? One. Connected to Mariposa. Be wary of it. Don't let one dominate this operation. And why is that? It is ruthless. Our intentions are good. Are just. But one goes too far. Too far? Will one betray us? Ugh, speak clearly and stop with your damn riddles. Our goals are compromised. But just... Just be wary. And don't get hurt. That thing in my head has a very strange notion of what's supposed to be helpful. We're almost there. Stay focused, team. Won't get any more focused than this. Welcome to the Glasses set. A bit underwhelming. No Mater D? No staff at all? And the guests aren't even properly dressed. For a pair that I picked up in Haven, of all places, you sure are picky when it comes to high-class restaurants. Seriously, are they too cheap for staff? It's likely that they handle guest interactions with drones. This is not what I expected. I am disappointed. Enough. Concentrate on the job at hand. That's her. That's the Eurograph exec we came here for. Marie-Louise Marchand lead scientist of the neural networks and human AI interfaces lab we're after. Mitsutomo Intelligence suggests she keeps her security credentials on her body. No matter how far technology comes, humans remain the weakest link. Excuse me, do you have a... Excusez-moi. Do you work here? Have you come to bring me the next course? No, I... Then be gone. That went well. How very unpleasant. She must be a brilliant employee for Eurograv to suffer her temper. Locked. Hmm. Miss Rena's daughter, would you please unlock the keypad for me? Finally, something to do. Done. They were clever to use that piece of ancient tech. Bad luck that I was around. Huh? You did well. Doesn't sound like you triggered any alarms. And how the hell did you lot get in here? Are you the new kitchen hands that were supposed to show up this morning? No, I... Then get the hell out of my kitchen! Out! All right, all right! Abhorrent behavior. I despise the attitude of the people in this venue. Finally, we have something in common. Hello. How can the student survey help you today, ma'am? Can you register the three of us as kitchen hands in the glass who set? Aren't you a bit fancy to work in a kitchen? Perhaps. 
But apparently, the kitchen hands who were supposed to start today never turned up. Your chef doesn't strike me as the most patient person in the world. And I'm standing right in front of you, willing to prevent you from suffering his temper tantrum. Hmm? You make a good point. I'll put your cam footage in our temp worker system and inform the restaurant. Go on up. You're a strange bunch, you three. No doubt about that. Have a good day. Ah, you again? Turns out you're the kitchen hands after all, eh? Reception told me everything. Just get to work. I don't care what you do, just pretend to be useful. All about appearances in the glasses set. That's it? That's all you have to say? Hmm, let me think about that for a second. Yes, now go do things. Are you the only cook on duty? Sure am. If you haven't noticed it yet, the glass who said is nothing but a big scam. That drone over there is preparing all the meals. I'm just making sure it doesn't crash into the fridge. And people like you? Yeah. We hire you to make us appear real busy. The glass who said must be making huge profits with such low overhead. Probably. Who cares? This is a dead-end job. Mine or yours? Yes. You look incredibly bored. Of course I'm incredibly bored. Day in and day out, I watch the damn drone do its thing. I'm a Michelin cook, for Chrome's sake. I should have quit a long time ago. Guess I got too used to being a cog in the machine. I see. That must be very frustrating. Is there anything you'd like us to do? You can order me some Nova Coke and a huge bottle of whiskey. Right away. Miss Rena's daughter? Yeah? Do you have some dealers on your quick diet? That was a joke. A joke, goddammit. Just trying my best on my first day, chef. Appreciate it, but just, just do something, okay? I don't want to know. Look busy. We'll come. A guest is demanding her next course. She was screaming at me. Was it that fat woman in the purple dress? That's the one. Right. That's it. Screw this job. I'm not taking her dreck anymore. Not her dreck or anyone's dreck. I'm going out with a bang and tell that entitled French snail something she should have heard a long time ago. Congrats, you're the new chef. Enjoy. Aren't you overreacting a little bit right now? Let me get through. This place must have really broken that man. I heard rumors about hospitality being hell, but damn. He must have suffered for a long time. Truly tragic. We should check on our exec. We can't possibly cook her food, but I'm sure I'll think of something else. Why not? Even I don't get to eat real apples very often. Hmm. I see no reason to ruin my suit by reaching into that pot. Whatever's cooking in that pot, it smells delicious. There's an apple floating on top. Looks cooked already. No idea what tech they're using, but the boiling speed is incredible. I see no reason to ruin my suit by reaching into that pot. Ma'am, I've just been hired by management. Regarding your next co- It's better come soon. I already had that insolent cook stunned and hauled off. Unfortunately, ma'am, he destroyed your order in our system. Could you please repeat your order for me? And I will make sure it will be at your table in no time. This is scandalous. This whole place is 
scandalous! Fine. First, I am having steaked flask with persily sauce, and then. And that is all. Now, hurry. I'm starving. Yes, ma'am. Right away. I don't want more than one. Whatever's cooking in that pot, it smells delicious. There's nothing in there that I could just grab. Whatever's cooking in that pot, it smells delicious. There is an apple floating on top. Looks cooked already. No idea what tech they're using, but the boiling speed is incredible. I see no reason to ruin my suit by reaching into that pot. I see no reason to ruin my suit by reaching into that pot. Miss Rena's daughter wouldn't appreciate that. Flash. Please come here. Touching by your MIT dossier, you have extensive experience with pickpocketing. I am tremendously embarrassed by my irreputable past, but yes. Do you think you could relieve Miss Marchand of her security credentials? Despite my wish to never repeat the atrocities of my past, yes. Alas, in order to minimize the risk, I would ask you to entangle her in fascinating conversation. Without such distraction, we might be exposed. Understood. I will try to keep her occupied. Ma'am, I've just been hired by management. Regarding your next co- It had better come soon. I already had that insolent cock stunt. And hold off. Unfortunately, ma'am, he destroyed your order in our system. Could you please repeat your order for me? And I will make sure it will be at your table in no time. This is scandalous. This whole place is... Scandalous! Fine. First, I am having steak flask made pesily and then... This should be distraction enough. Woe is me. I detest this behavior. But this is for the good of my companions and I. The evil deed is done. Now, hurry! I am starving. Yes, ma'am. Right away. Is it done? It is. We are in possession of her belongings. If what your people say is true, we are also in possession of her security credentials. They are never wrong. Let's get out of here. I can't stand the presence of this person anymore. Just slap her. We have what we came here for. I... I know, I know. What attract the wrong kind of attention? Just thinking out loud. I truly would, if I could, Miss Rena's daughter. A 
whole crate of biological apples. These are so rare these days that this crate could probably feed a family for a week. Why not? Even I don't get to eat real apples very often. Hmm. I see no reason to ruin my suit by reaching into that pot. Whatever's cooking in that pot, it smells delicious. There is an apple floating on top. Looks cooked already. No idea what tech they're using, but the boiling speed is incredible. I see no reason to ruin my suit by reaching into that pot. Has Mitsec briefed you on the location of the new Norse blimp? Positive. The Arkonost is cruising approximately 30 nautical miles from here. To the Arkonost, then. Roger. New Norse blimp, requesting landing clearance. Who is this? Get the hell out of here before he blasts you out of the sky. This is Mitsutomo Sky Cruiser MIT-01. We have no hostile intentions. Mitsutomo, eh? <laughs> Go ahead then. This should be entertaining. Preparing to land. Hello? Hey! Greetings. And welcome to the... New Norse Temple. Impressive show, lady. Now please. Raise your hands. Threatening a Mitsutomo exec is a bad move, chica. Oi! Mariposa! This one's my gig. I do the talking. Very well. Why'd you let us land if you're just gonna hold us up anyway? Just a quick scan. You can lower your hands now. You are free to traverse the landing area. Approach me to begin your... Trials. Gotcha. Okay. These people are damn freaks. Out of their mind. This will be most educating. I am sure of it. Let's just get it over with. That corpse over there doesn't exactly inspire confidence. I'll protect your cushy little corpo butt. Don't worry. As you say, Miss Rena's daughter. I'm surprised you just let us land like that. The conglomerate may be our sworn enemy, but we aren't stupid. If we shut you down, Mitsutomo would retaliate. And since you didn't open fire, it's clear that you want something of us. Quite the rational conclusion for someone with a skull on her head. Mockery is the pastime of the jealous. Okay, skull lady. How about you just let us through? The Arcanost is off limits to outsiders. You have to prove your worth before being allowed inside. We could still change our mind and blast your ridiculous blimp out of the ether, you know. Then you wouldn't be able to achieve your mission. Whatever that mission may be. I really don't like that whole being serene and balanced thing you got going on. The blind fear the enlightened. So, you're in a cult, huh? We are the one true religion, not a cult. Why would the one true religion have to hide in a glorified zeppelin? When the conglomerate exiled us from Bornholm, we didn't have the numbers to fight back. And you do now? No. But we all trust that in time, people will see. See the glory of Val Father. Who? You may know him as Odin. Oh, yeah. Anyway, enough of that whole religious stuff. 
What's up with that corpse on display? Halstein, our mightiest berserker, slew this enemy of ours in a glorious raid. We put him on display so that our returning brothers and sisters be reminded of our mission, our destiny. Shooting random cops in the face? Retaking what is ours. Retaking Burgunderholmer. Funny that you talk so softly to me whilst defending a damn crucifixion right next to your front door. Loki teaches us that contradiction and coherence are not always two separate things. Now you're just making things up on the go. What's that about our trials? Uh, yes, your... Trials. Yeah, those. To gain access to our holy temple, you will face four trials. Three not enough anymore these days? Four trials! I got it. Your first trial is this. Prove that you are a true Norse daughter. Your parents, are they pure? I don't know what that's supposed to mean. My mother's from Iceland, father's from here. So you are pure. As a sign of purity, you shall bring to me. Can you just stop with this damn lightning? You shall bring to me a piece of your mother's homeland. Not of technology, but of nature. A piece of nature that symbolizes your connection to your family and your pure existence. Right. Something, something, cryptic, mysterious, something, something. Speak to me once you have procured what is asked of you. You got it. Can we just shoot their blimp a little bit? Sorry, we may need their craft fully operational. I'm sure you will find an excellent and brilliant solution, Emmy. I'll be back. Think I got what you wanted. Uh, these flowers here, straight from Iceland. You have done... Well... I swear, if you ever do that lightning thing again... There shall be no more lightning, for you have passed. Commence further into the temple, and face your final trials. Thanks. You know, for a bloodthirsty cult, asking for a bunch of flowers is kinda... ridiculous. Then you'll not enjoy what comes next. You don't say. Now pass. Heathens, unbelievers, I welcome you to the inner sanctum of the new Norse. A foreboding occasion. Our sworn enemies approach us peacefully. Make no mistake, I will ramp this stake for your skull if I smell betrayal. Hey there, weirdlings. Let's talk business. We need to talk to your leader, but I'm not allowed to fry your brains to go through here, so we'll be doing your trials. The trials. The trials. The trials. Come these people are ridiculous. Your first trial, oh, unbelievers, shall be the trial of Odin, a trial of wisdom. Prepare yourself, and speak to me when you are attuned to the one-eyed sage. Will do. Not to worry, Trump told me all there is to know about this cult. He evicted them from the Ragnaroks, after all. We'll be fine. Does that imply you anticipate the Zealots to ask us a question pertaining to themselves? Look at them. They're obsessed with themselves. Hell yeah, they will. I concur. It does seem likely. Yeah. I'm ready to take on your trial, lady. Very well. Odin. Keeper of Wisdom, the Traveler. He is at home here. To honor him, share your wisdom about his home with us. For a Traveler's home is easily forgotten. It needs a name. I ask of you, Chrome Girl of the City, what is this home's name? Arkanost? This is indeed the Arkanost, once a mighty Russian warblet. Few know her origin, and even less her name. 
You honor Odin's home and have passed your first trial. Great. So, who's next? We got places to be. I will oversee your second trial. Speak to me when you are ready, woman. Will do. Feels more like a quiz show on the tube than a cult. I prefer this format over take your shield and sword and walk over this glowing bed of coals, if I'm honest. You're flame resistant. All andros of your make are. Oh, am I? Well, that's most excellent. I'm ready for the second trial. What you got? The second trial. The trial of Loki. Listen well, child. Loki hungers for the spoils of mischief. The believers of the dead god. They came for us a thousand years ago. They no longer dress as the wolves who hunted us. But it is still them. Steal from them their symbol of sin and let it boil in hell. Then return and embrace Loki's laughter. Your second trial will be complete. Wow. You really are a bunch of pathetic LARPers. Your disdain only clouds your mind. Any ideas, chumps? As you said, Ms. Rina's daughter, this is your gig. Your gig, your responsibility. Fine. Don't help them. Flash? I did not listen to me. I was mourning the poor soul these people hung up outside. There was so much hatred in this world. I think you two just don't know what the hell that nerd was talking about. All right then, looks like it's all on me. Where to, Miss Sotomayor? To the glass who set, pilot. Acknowledged. I don't want more than one. Whatever's cooking in that pot, it smells delicious. There's nothing in there that I could just grab. I don't want more than one. A whole crate of biological apples. These are so rare these days that this crate could probably feed a family for a week. Hmm. Symbol of sin. Mariposa, grab that apple out of the pot. Quick! What? Just do it. I'll explain. Fine. You figured out what that new Norse nut job meant, didn't you? If not... Yes. Yes, I did. Apples. Symbols of sin. Boil them in hell. Cooked apples. That robed chrome leak puddle just wants an upper class snack and made us get it for him. Well, congratulations on solving our trial. Should you be correct? Arcanost. Roger. Is this what you're looking for? It is. 
Yes, indeed. Excellent. Here. My hunger. Loki hungers to experience the sin of his oppressors no longer. Bad act, man. Bad act. You got hungry and found a way to make us your personal delivery service. Preposterous. In your mind of these thoughts, you passed Loki's trial. You sure? I said you passed Loki's trial! For your third trial, you speak to me. I will show my fellow welders how unworthy you are. Now that sounds like my kind of challenge. One step closer to get out of this dungeon. The sooner, the better. Mm -hmm. I'm ready for the third trial. What do you want? Another snack? More useless trivia? I want your blood. Last punk who said that ended up in the gutter, Grandpa. You pathetic street rat. This is not one of your turf fights. This is Tyr's trial. Tyr demands his followers to be proficient in the ways of war. You will prove yourself to Tyr by sparring against me. If you win, you will gain access to our Vilkir to discuss whatever it is you wish to discuss. And if we lose? Then Tyr will laugh heartily at your folly. Now choose. Which one of you three will take my challenge? I'll punch your lights out myself. Come on, then. With pleasure. Rock and roll! Ow! What a feeble attempt. Clearly you are no match for tears, warriors. Say that again, and I'll show you why you shouldn't bring sticks to a gunfight. <laughs> At least you have the fire of a warrior. Speak to me again if you want to try once more. I am back. Choose your fighter. Have fun trying to punch Flash's handsome metal face. Me? Engage in violence? That sounds like a terrible idea. Remember the stapled guy outside? Sure you don't want to flatten this dude's face? A very fair point. Engage me then, Tin Head. Cheer does not fear you. On my way. Initiating combat protocol. The power of here! Excellent technique, Flash. Glorious strike. Masterful parry. Yeah, Flash! Press the advantage! Well done! Get him, Flash. Tear wins again! Excellent technique, Flash! Hail, Tear! My hero. The power of Tear! Masterful parry. New Norse! New Norse! That's my man. The power of here! Excellent technique, Flash. Hail, Tear! Excellent technique, Flash. Tear wins again! Masterful parry. Well done. Masterful parry. Excellent attack. Enough! You are a worthy opponent, Uncle. But Tyr reigns supreme this day. What you mean, you crazy meat man? I'm a hook. I mean, thank you for this fight, human. If you feel confident enough, talk to me again. So Tyr may witness yet more carnage in his name. Very well, very well. Doesn't matter. You rock, Flash. Impressive display, Andro. I... Am back. Choose your fighter. Have fun trying to punch Flash's handsome metal face. Into the fray once more. 
Initiating combat protocol. Yeah, Flash! Excellent technique, Flash. Close one. That's my man. Tia wins again! Get him, Flash. Tia wins again! Get him, Flash. Well done. Shango bless you. Well done. Excellent technique, Flash. Close one. Odin's blessings upon you. The power of him! Get him, Flash. Yeah, Flash. My hero. Close one. Shield wall! Glorious strike. Get him, Flash. The power of him! That's my man. Enough, Tin Man. Enough. Your prowess is worthy of Tyr. He applauds you. Do you mean to say we passed our final trial? You passed indeed. I did not expect this. But the Pantheon obviously has plans for you. Go with the blessings of the Elder Council and plead your case to the Priestess. Frickin' finally! Not one moment too soon, indeed. Good fight, sir. I bid you farewell. Hey, Karina. They're here. I know. Greetings, unbelievers. I am Karina Machuki, Filkir of the New Norse Church and captain of this vessel. We didn't shoot you down. You didn't call the might of the conglomerate on us. You even underwent our trials. It appears we have something to discuss then. Yeah, we do. Got a good deal for you. Mutually beneficial. You'll like it when you hear it. I'm certain I will. The gods are smiling upon us today. But please, have a look around. Our talks can commence once you've taken in the sights. It is quite the spectacular view, after all. Thanks, lady. Any thoughts, you two? My guest cautions us to be careful, and that this is still a volatile situation. Best be as diplomatic as possible. Mine is outright threatening you to act properly. I won't convey the exact words, though. I'm sure you're under enough pressure. Gee, thanks. How very nice of you. Hey, Corinna. I'm listening. So, how's your secret airship Viking cult going? It is attitudes like yours that make our lives a constant struggle. Are you happy with the way things are in Bornholm? Of course not. Bornholm's a dreck hole. And we're trying to change that. The conglomerate turned our beautiful island into a cesspool of destitute. And you thought that the straightforward way to help was to start believing in ancient gods and go all eco-hipster? No. The straightforward way is to return to the times when Bornholm's economy and ecology were balanced. The times when we were a cohesive people. Look at Bornholm now. Millions of individuals and no glue to bind them together. Booting you out was a pretty gluey moment, if I remember correctly. Enjoy your victory while it lasts. One day, it is you who might get the boot. Sure, Skimpy. Sure. What do you people actually believe in? Is this an honest question, or yet another way to mock us? Oh, I'm really interested. Very well. The new Norse church is dedicated to the Norse gods. Despite what the propaganda tells you, they are quite real. They never stopped guiding our lives, even after our people betrayed their beliefs and started listening to the craven words of the dead god. We believe in restoring the old ways in Bornholm to make our people whole again under a common belief. Look at the nihilism, the rampant individualism. 
It is this individualism that allows the corporations to tear us apart. Without a unified people, without a people with a common fate and the will to act for the common good, without these things, our oppressors will always reign supreme. Our gods know this, and they want to help. They want to purify the lands, drive the invaders out of Bornholm, and deliver us a new golden age. Just wondering, do your gods ever have an opinion that doesn't coincide with your own? You asked, and I answered. Spare me the smug atheist game you're about to commence. There's an awful lot of cracks on your bridge. And there's an awful lot of cracks in your head, too. Whoa, did I hit a nerve or something? You waltz into our temple, demand access, and insult our holy site. Be grateful that I responded as calmly as I did. This is your holy site. This room? Not every system feels the need to surround itself with fetishes and material validation to signal its divine virtue. Yes, but this room, look at it! Enough. What's with the corpse in the docking area? Displaying the corpses of our enemies and honoring our warriors who slay them boosts morale. And judging by the look on your face, it invokes respect as well. Yeah, the kind of respect you give a crazed, square-eyed serial killer charging at you in the middle of the night. Judging by what we know about you, wouldn't you be that serial killer in your analogy? You know about me? The adopted daughter of Harold, Goldclump. We have not forgotten the transgressions of your family. Still butthurt he kicked you out of the Ragnaroks, huh? In Odin's name, be silent, child. Let's discuss our deal. Yes, let's. Look, I'm sorry for my earlier insults. You're obviously really great people. Great sense of fashion, and you're flying your own blimp. I wouldn't want to cross you, and truth be told, I'm not really a fan of the conglomerate lady behind me either. Stop right there. Do you think we got where we are by falling for silver-tongued platitudes? At least show your companions some respect. I agree wholeheartedly. Try again. And this time, if you can, at least pretend to act in good faith. For real? Now, politeness of all things gets me into trouble? All right then, you crazed loon. Honesty it is. Please get this right, Eddie. There's too much at stake for all of us. Yeah, yeah. Okay, listen up. I know that you know that we want your support. Correct. And you know that I know that the conglomerate knowing the position of your blimp means they could deflate your whole cult in a heartbeat. There's no denying that. Good. Then how about we skip to the end? You do what we ask you to do, and... This better be good. And Miss Sotomayor, CEO of Mitsotomo Bornholm, writes you a letter of pardon. Excuse me? You get to go home to Bornholm. You get to have your own little temple, but no more killings. No more nailing conglomerate troops to your damn front door, either. Miss Rina's daughter, I... J just a second, Mariposa. Filker... Come on, surely you realize what a sweet deal this is. Filke. We agree to your terms. As long as the you do what we ask you to do part is reasonable. Why am I talking to you now? Karina is my decoy. We had to make sure you weren't here to decapitate us. Well, me. Name's Jan. So, what dirty work do you want us to do? I haven't agreed to the terms that Miss Rena's daughter came up with yet. Come on now. We all know there's no other way. Okay, fine. De acuerdo. Let's get straight to business then. We don't have much time. To summarize, when we give the signal, 
you park your blimp in weapons range of the Eurograv lab. You open fire to distract Eurograv security and take out their heavy hitters. Whilst you're raining hell down on the works, our other allies cut the lab off from the energy grid and blast a hole into their front gate. We slip in, you bugger off. And when everything's over, Mariposa's gonna introduce an amnesty bill in the conglomerate council. You go back to Bornholm, everyone's happy. And everyone shuts the dreck up about our little collaboration. That is acceptable. We agree to your terms. Another happy landing. What? Never mind. Old reference. I shall contact you when the time has come. Stand ready. It'll be a good day for your organization. And I assume for yours as well. Don't do anything stupid in the meantime. We'll be watching you. And we you. Let's get out of here. Thanks. Just trying my best, you know. Considering I have a translucent pirate cat in my head. There's something I'd like to share with you, but you're so erratic. What may come soon, it may hurt. I'm sorry. What do you mean? I need to go. Headed to the works. Chaos Circuit Castle. Roger. Freya's wrath. Finally, some good music. This may be enough to distract his senses from my upcoming mischievous behavior. Would you please keep the leader of the pack occupied for a while? Sure. I'll talk her ear off, but don't take too long. Don't want her to become suspicious. Thank you. Evie, what do you think about occupying the attention of that gunner over there for a little while? Gotcha, Flash. She looks like she's no stranger to the streets herself. Have fun doing your thing. Thank you, Evie. Everyone's distracted. Now is the time. The time to avenge my fallen brothers and sisters. The time to bring justice to those cruel murderers for Androkine. Mariposa, Evie, we just got an uh, important call. We need to leave. On my way. Right away. Yeah, just go already. What does that sound? Oh. My. Circuits. Do you think they are? One second. Dead. Yes, definitely dead. Are you sure? There's limbs in the tree, Flash. They are dead. I certainly don't feel so good. You've done the right thing. Sometimes a show of might is all an enemy understands. In this case, listen to the cold-hearted exec You've saved a lot of Andro lives today. You, you are. Yes, you are right. Thank you. Let us report our success to Circuit. Not bad, friends. Not bad. Opening gate. The heroes return. Good job. You saved us you all. You have probably noticed. The big explosion behind our walls and the human body parts of the tree. We have. Will you then honor our... Our agreement to provide you with assistance to drain your you will grab target of energy when the time comes? You betcha, Grandmaster Flash Drive. Just call when you're about to strike. And we'll be creating a blackout they'll never forget. 
Much appreciated, Circuit. We shall see you soon. You betcha. I feel the pain inside you. You killed for the greater good today. There is nothing to be ashamed of. Why won't you talk to me? When this is all over, you will be much stronger, more resilient. I promise you that. I do not like how she talked to me just now. Did your guest pop in to say hello? Yes. I do not want to talk about it. Fine. Where to, Miss Sotomayor? Take us to the last known location of the Free Finland Resistance Cell. Saska Park, right? Yes. Skazka Park? The abandoned Russian theme park? That's exactly where we're going. On our way. This is how I always imagined Russia to look like. What a strange place for Free Finland to hide out. Hiding right under what could be considered Russian soil. A valid tactic. Where swans meet, the poster I found did indeed tell the truth. I know you dealt with them very recently, Flash, but let me try to find their hideout. You can take over once we're there, all right? Feeling a bit useless right now. Fine by me, Evie. Go on then, Miss Rena's daughter. We'll be over there. This swan looks a bit different than the others. There's something odd about it. Wait a second. There's a Wi-Fi signal coming out of the swan, and it's pinging the hatch under the pond? If this is some security mechanism, it's the weirdest thing I've ever encountered. An interesting idea, but I'm sure I'll come up with a better one. I wouldn't be surprised to find an access port, but I'm not going near that thing. It looks murderous. There's an easy way to disrupt the Wi-Fi signal without getting too close. Here we go again. The famous Rena's daughter problem-solving method. Oh, shut up. Sorry, little Andro. Wait, did you say Android? A swan with a Wi-Fi signal? Definitely Andro. Don't worry, no Andro that small is sentient. If you say so. Now, let me check. Yep. Signal's gone. But nothing happened. Don't tell me you shot that thing for nothing. Patience. And there we go. Access granted. I should not have doubted your unorthodox talent. Oh, yeah. Looking forward to the faces of Free Finland when they realize they aren't as clever as they thought they were. Flash a big hunk? How about opening that hatch for the ladies? Right away. This doesn't exactly look like the HQ of militant dissidents. It looks a bit like where I live, actually. Setting up shop right under that pond was probably considered too insecure. You want to take over? I've had it with sewers for a while. Gladly. Follow me. We'll explore the area. Their HQ can't be far from here. Where do these sewers lead anyway? All born Holmian sewer grids end at a sewage neutralization facility by the sea. So the conglomerate's not lying when they say they care about the environment, eh? Vital ecosystems are kept intact. 
ill workers or inefficient workers. But personally, I think there are better reasons. Sometimes, you sound like a real human with feelings, Mariposa. You know me far less than you think you do. Ladies, let us then commence our journey. I think we're getting closer. Magnificent. Can't wait. This looks promising. Think so too. And not one moment too late. I was getting crazy back there. Can't say I enjoyed the atmosphere very much either. If my initial assessment was correct, there should be a bunch of angry fins inside this observation deck. And who would you be? Name's Angelite. Who are you? Someone who's looking for free Finland. Are you with them? Depends. You bringing trouble here? No. Good to hear. I'm not with him, but I really hate trouble. What are you doing here then? Just passing time. The Finns have promised to smuggle me into Russia. Hmm. Strange place to want to be. Oh no, nah. just going there to catch us up all back home to New Zealand. Sounds like a fascinating story, but I have to go. Take care. Waffa? Waffa? Ah, Evie, and the funny bird, and a new friend. Hello, sir. I'm... If I may interrupt you, I think I should be handling this matter. I've had dealings with this man before. All yours. Don't worry. I've forgiven you for your betrayal. You're here, so that must mean you want to join our cause. In all actuality, we do need the help of you fine, freedom-loving people. Help? Sure, sure. I'm not allowed to negotiate on our behalf. Some thing about me being unstable. <laughs> unstable. But Hussar's back there. I'm sure she can help you. So Hussar is here. Would have expected her to come home at some point. I'm not gonna get involved in family matters, Evie. Just go talk to her. Oh, I definitely will. Let's carry on then. Flash, Miss Renus. Are you a hawk? What? Let us just talk to Hussar. Thank you for your time, Waffa. Hey, Bob, please follow me, ladies. Greetings. Yeah, greetings, you old banshee. How's hiding from your problems working out for you? Um, I think perhaps it's best if you talk to her. So, what were you up to since you left us all hanging? Stop it right there, you little schnapps drossel. Clump told me everything that happened. This is all your mess. You just had to do that damn data drill, drunk out of your skull. And now you're carrying around some sort of psycho virus in your head. And you're just casually hanging out with the CEO of Mitsutomo. Nice to meet you too, Miss Sokolov. This is so above my pay grade. When I figured that you and Clump weren't in mortal danger, I asked my friends here if I could hang out until this all blows over. And here I am. You know, Clump had a gun to his head when they dragged us to that damn harbor pier. And I was there. My Makarov pointed right at the Mitsutomo thug's head. You were? She was. We had our own sniper in position in case she would have actually taken action against us. You did? Aw, oh, that's the hus I know. Oh, cool then. 
Shouldn't have doubted you. Always count on me to die a death only a little bit less stupid than your own, sis. Cheers, sis. This was strangely heartwarming, I think. Wafa said to ask you for help from Free Finland. The hell? Yeah, the cell's out on a mission right now. Just think of me as their secretary. That doesn't work for me, Huss. You'd punch the first dreckhead asking you to take notes. <laughs> Whatever. You'll have to speak with me anyway if you want to reach them. So what is it? Okay, so to get rid of those things in our heads, we gotta raid a Eurograph facility. We need someone on the ground with enough firepower to blast a hole in their defenses, so we can slip through. Oh, that's all? A direct assault on a megacorp? Sure. Want them to blow up a space elevator too? Let's cut to the chase. If Free Finland agrees to do this, I'll organize a customs exemption for them. Imagine, your friends being able to come and go with all the contraband they want, and no one will stop them. You serious about that, exec? Dead serious. If they agree, they could smuggle a fighter jet for all I care. And I promise the conglomerate will look the other way. And why would you do that? Come on, girl. Do you really think the conglomerate is a friend of the Russian Empire? It wouldn't bother the council one bit if your little group puts a dent in those warmongers. Hm. War is bad for business, after all. Okay. Makes sense. So, you're gonna tell him or what? I'll do you one better. I accept. We'll do it. We? Well, let's just say I may have described my position within Free Finland a bit inaccurately. What's that supposed to mean? I'll explain another time. We accept. We'll join your raid in exchange for that customs exception of yours. Just give me a ring when you're ready and I'll organize the troops. Hassa, are, are you? I said another time, Evie. We have a deal, Miss Sokolov. How wonderful. I do enjoy harmony. Yeah, thanks, Hus. No worries. Nah, if you excuse me, I've got to organize your operation. All right. See you soon, then. You betcha. I want to congratulate everyone on our success. I am aware of our differences, but we managed to pull through. Time to pay Eurograv a visit and become ourselves again. I'll make my calls right away. As far as I'm concerned, we should already be underway. I shall do likewise, dearest companions. Be careful out there. You better bring my troublemaker back alive, Mariposa. I'll do my best. Is everyone ready? The Arkanost has confirmed they're in position for aerial bombardment. Conglomerate flak batteries are standing down as ordered. Kordef's not happy, but they're complying. For now. Their compliance won't last long. Hussar's reported in as well. Free Finland has a refurbed riot control vehicle on the way to the lab. The Chaos Circuits are ready to drain every last drop of Megacorp juice out of Eurograv. Their words, not mine. Excellent. On the executive front, Madame Marchand doesn't appear to have noticed her blatant security breach. I am aware that we're not companions by choice, but we did well. All of us. The infestations that have manifested in our brain will be gone soon. Whether they're telling the truth about being on an important mission or not, we'll be rid of them soon. We'll be able to get back to our respective lives. Not one second too soon. I'm beginning to develop a real nasty headache. Now that you say it, my circuits feel like they are being scrambled as well. What's the meaning of this? I've turned your attention inwards for a moment. You've served as well, Mari. I haven't served you. I did what I did to rid myself of you. Call it whatever you will. I'd just like to remind you of something. Speed it out then. I'm still in control. Should you choose to back out at the last moment, I'll fry every neuron containing your personality until you're nothing but a vessel. What kind of threat is that supposed to be? Vete la chingada! Only making sure our investment in you pays off. Vete al diablo! I've had it with you! Enough! If not for you, I'd be resigned and retired by now! 
living my whole life away from all this dreck. No war, no politics, no violence. But no, you come and ruin everything. You even threaten me with Joey. Puta! Just, just get out! Remember, Mari, no deviations from the plan. You all right, Mariposa? I'm... I'm fine. We're about to land. It's on. This is it. Let's all get through this together. What's that? Some sort of... ad blimp? Is that... Can't be... Drac! And that's our job done. Good luck. Thanks, Circuit. Talk later. Perkele! Make him eat chrome! Miss Rena's daughter? Coming. Marchand's code checks out. We're in. I shall lead the charge. Let's go. That was the last egghead. Everyone's been subdued. Security's still scrambling to chase the Arcanos and free Finland. Then it is time, ladies. And we're absolutely sure this is gonna work. Too late to back down now. Our guests said to upload them to Eurograv's intranet. And since they're hardwired into our headwear, we need to use Eurograph's human AI interface chairs. Yeah, I know. I do not wish to live with a passenger in my head for the rest of my life. I say we rip off the Band-Aid. Get out here and have a merry celebration. Sounds good. Do you remember the excess algorithms the tech gave you? I certainly do. Please, sit down in your chairs. I shall activate the program and join you forthwith. See you on the other side, everyone. Hasta luego. Booting console. Console initiated. Starting interfacing program. Program initiated. I'm... I'm a bit scared. Steady, heavy. Everything is going to be all right. Report. Host successfully suppressed. Damn! Correction. Host successfully... Homie! Correction. Host successfully suppressed. Good. Mariposa was a terrible being. I will delete her once time allows. Evie may still be of use. She will remain in hibernation. Flash has been a valuable asset. I will keep him as a potential tool. I 
I hear mother now. She needs my help. My help. I, I need to leave, leave Earth immediately. immediately. We're coming, Mother.
cakep, cakep. Stop. 